Yeah, I can guess I could, uh, I could share it with my Discord. Maybe. I'll consider it. I think I'll do that right now. What's going on, everybody? It's been a while, hasn't it? At least for me, it's been a while. You guys probably have seen, you know, some of my videos or whatnot. Uh, maybe recently. Maybe this is the first video I ever clicked on, which would be insane. This is just a VOD, and in fact, this is a very unofficial VOD, but, uh, but it certainly is a VOD. Okay. Share that real quick. Make sure my computer doesn't overheat or die. What's good? How we doing? How we doing? Okay. Alright, looks like we're good. Y'all let me know if we're not good, okay? Y'all will let me know, correct? <laughs> Big Stevington, what's good? How we doing? Opsagoon, Buglium, Opsa Classy, Mega Jackbow. Uh, that is gonna have to go. I apologize about that. Uh, you know. I love the notifications, and I love when you guys do, you know, donate and all of the nonsense and, and all of the stuff. Uh, but this is a little bit different, okay, from what we normally do. Now, bear with me. I'm going to explain it. I know you guys... <laughs> I know. I know face cam. I know. I know. No webcam. I know. I know. It's crazy, right? Today, folks... We already knew, or at least I already knew, that I was going to play through Pikmin 4 again, okay? I knew I was going to have to play through it again. The last time I played it was, in fact, when it came out in July. Now, for those of you who have been around the channel for long enough, you know that uh, we've done an analysis basically on every single Pikmin game. I have about an hour and 40 minute long analysis. Um, but today, we're going to be playing through Pikmin 4 again. And the reason I sound just kind of like, like it, it's kind of a weird situation for me because I don't, like I want to look at my webcam, but like there's really no point in it. Um, really the main reason that I'm doing this, obviously you recognize that there's no chat, there, there's no webcam, no notifications, none of that. Today I'm going to be playing through Pikmin 4 again in order to surmise my thoughts on the game. Because playing through it only one time doesn't give me a good enough picture of how I actually feel about it. Because we've been waiting for Pikmin 4 for over a decade. And as soon as it dropped, of course, it was phenomenal. Of course, I was very happy with it, you know? Um, but I have only played through it one time. So instead of playing through it a second time, off stream, you know, to collect footage, because I do have a lot to say about Pikmin 4. But the thing is, is that it is a long game, and some of you are going to say, Oh, it's not long if you're good at speedrunning, and uh, yeah, of course, but that comes with practice and time and familiarity, something that I haven't done. Obviously, I've done, uh, you know, a ton <laughs> of different things uh, between Pikmin 4 and now. We've done Kaizo Mystery Dungeon, we've uh, obviously, Mar Kaizo Mario Galaxy, it has been... Um, really really successful thank you guys so much for the support on the kaizo mario galaxy video but what i wanted to do is i wanted to play through pikmin 4 again uh with the, the lens of nostalgia and the lens of the rose colored glasses off you know i think it's important to be able to kind of sit and stew with my thoughts to get a a concrete take on how I actually feel about the game. You know, I, I think that is probably the best way of going about it. And it does start in sepia tone. Noticing that, that is really cute. Again, they try to bombard you with nostalgia. So today, guys, uh, it's going to be a little bit different from uh, a regular stream. I'm not going to be finishing the game today. It's kind of ridiculous, uh, if, if you know you consider that. Again, I'm not 
uh, speed running. I'm not doing anything really. I just want number one, the footage, um, clean, unedited, uh, no webcam, no chat, no notifications. Uh, that's the, what I want. Right. Uh, but number two, I want the opportunity to kind of look at this game through less of a, yes, this is finally what we've gotten, you know, kind of lens and more analytically. So it's going to be a little bit less animated. Uh, certainly I'm going to be stewing on my thoughts a little bit more. But the reason that I decided to go live with it, uh, instead of just kind of playing in my own time and recording it in my own time, which I totally could have done, um, it, it's mostly because if I have any questions or qualms, I think it's actually pretty important to, you know, not only talk about my own biases, but to have you guys kind of be able to have a say as well, because perhaps you'll be able to influence me and say, oh yeah, this is actually good because this is actually bad because, you know, X, Y, Z, and we'd have a conversation. And the goal is to have a complete playthrough uh, and to obviously kind of take into account everything that the game is asking and showing us so obviously there are like certain things that yes if we were speed running we wouldn't be able to to do uh as far as footage wise of course like right here so like we didn't even look this way in my first playthrough i don't believe i think we just went right into the pots and i didn't even bother to see that yes they do show you the poor Quillen just chilling on top of this little table. They show you all of the Pikmin kind of down there. Am I able to jump? No, I am unable to jump. I can bark. That is very interesting. You know, uh, I've only played through the game one time. So when everybody asks me, like, what are my thoughts on Pikmin 4? How does it compare to the rest of the franchise? Uh, it's like, well, I've only played it one time, so I can't really give my full take because Pikmin 1, 2, and 3, I've played through each of them at least a dozen times, and I've only played this one time. So this also serves as a way for me to capture footage, so it's going to be a little bit slower than just simply a playthrough, right? I want to be able to, if I want to isolate anything, I want to be able to have the footage for it, you know? So like something like this, I will linger on these cutscenes. I will kind of wait for them to play out and I will take some time for the most part, I think, you know? Um, I'm gonna be looking and kind of talking about the game as it goes on. I'm not gonna, you know, maybe be the most interactive with chat, which I hate to, I hate to say, cause you guys know me, I'm a big interactor, but I think it's really important to, you know, if there is something important, uh, definitely I'll, we'll talk about it and whatnot, but really it's just for the sake of trying to play through it again and looking at it in a new, different way, because after 11 years, I mean, I was happy with anything we got, you know? Thank you all so much for hanging out. Uh, this, I'm not sure exactly how long we're going to be going today. Again, a little bit of a different vibe than some of the other streams that we've done. A lot, I considered doing like a challenge run of Pikmin 4. I considered doing uh, obviously Pikmin 4, you know, back to back to back to back with the first three games and trying to do like a, I forget what it's called, 1096. I freaking don't remember how, 776 maybe? It might be seven. I'm not entirely sure. It might be seven, seven, six, uh, as far as like treasures and completing the entire thing. You know, uh, you clicked on this thinking it was a video. Well, you probably didn't look at the uh, the little red live icon, but that's okay. That's not a big deal. <laughs> I do that sometimes too. Yeah, we'll see the scenery more. Um, we're not gonna speed through the game necessarily. Um, but if there is something that I want to make like a sticking point about, like I will be trying to capture footage for it and, and whatnot. So, 
Uh, actually, I had my headphones on. I'm totally gonna, gonna take them off right now um, because it's kind of hard to kind of even hear myself. But this is this kind of brings me back to the the days where I didn't even have a webcam. What is this? Better make a note of this in my voyage log. Am I able to actually like? What does record later do? No, no. I'll save future Alamar the trouble and record it while it's still fresh in my mind. The, saving me the trouble. Uh, this is so interesting because I'm not doing this from a content perspective, right? I'm not trying to entertain you, which is so interesting. It's so different. And I'm I'm physically trying to hold myself back from, like, making jokes and, and doing the whole, you know, the whole streamer thing, which is kind of ridiculous. Um Spencer, what's well, good? Message retracted. No, you gifted and then retracted. Does that work? I don't know how that works, <laughs> but that's very funny. <laughs> Strange Pikmin behavior. And you know what? Maybe I will do it like a let's play. When I arrived at this area, the Pikmin started acting quite strange. They flew out of the onion and immediately hid. I can't find my spaceship parts without them. I suppose I'll just keep looking for them and can call them back using my whistle. Number 76, strange Pikmin behavior. So odd. I've never seen that before. Number 76. Why is, why is that the, the number that they decided? Uh, much easier if you have more Pikmin. Of course. So here we are in the Heroes Hideaway. This is the first area of the game. It's just the tutorial. Uh, we got our little dude behind there. It has been a hot minute since I've played this game. It has been a really long time. Wait, there's the jump. I gotta get reacquainted, kinda. Uh, don't look before I leap. Why not, Ollie? Why would I not look before I leap? That seems ill-informed. Oh! Jesus. This is pretty... Pretty crazy. I said, I'm gonna get good footage as I run into all of the, the nonsense and search the area below. No parts around here. Okay, so Alamar is indeed telling us what's going on up here. We know this. We've played through the game 100%. Uh, I have a whole series, uh, a whole bunch of highlights, a whole bunch of nonsense when it comes to Pikmin 4. Use R to take a peek. Yep. The camera, uh, certainly different than Pikmin 1, 2, and 3. This is something I forgot about. This is actually very cute. I totally forgot about this. Am I able to get up there? I can. Who's coming back? Beautiful. Have I ever found all 100 Pikmin in the tutorial? I'm pretty sure that's what we did the first time. I think we didn't get past the tutorial until we actively decided, yes, we are indeed going to find every single Pikmin. Uh, I know we don't need to. Maybe I do, maybe I don't. I'm not quite sure. I'm just kind of leisurely running around, making a note of some of these important differences between, uh, you know, the actual Hero's Hideaway, what the, oh, okay, that was interesting, versus, uh, you know, the tutorial version that we get subjected to with Ollie right now, right here. Again, I might get everyone, I might not, it's not going to be a big deal. Pup's powerful notes. I did... Low key forget that there is indeed the uh, the sniffing feature, like the ability to kind of you know stay on the scent and and track the parts. Again, I've only played through this one time, and obviously it existed during the the, the last playthrough, but I just didn't really even think about it. Uh, we have 58. Obviously, there's 100. I think we're maybe just gonna send it. I'm gonna see if there's any like. Maybe like interesting tidbits. I know they're in the plant and all of that. Shall be the end of the blue arc? Absolutely not. The blue arc has barely started. Barely started. No, nope, no face cam. Nothing, nothing like that. Mm -mm. And again, this is all so that I can have just some clean, nice 
footage for hopefully an eventual analysis and uh, and review. Because honestly, I spent a, a good deal of time, maybe like two days ago, I was in Vantage Emblem stream, and he's a, uh, a Pikmin Fire Emblem creator, and he was going over a lot of the, the theories and uh, that sort of stuff. It's interesting, actually. That's so funny. The, the, the yellow Pikmin were looking up here. Which I think is so funny. Uh, let's let's get everybody. Why the hell not? Why the hell not? Can we dash? We certainly can. Thinking about it, I do want everyone. <laughs> it ain't over till it's over, you know. So yeah, you can see the pots and stuff up there. That's really interesting. We can throw them. Are we able to do this? No. This is just for me, guys, okay? This is for me right now and for you later. Does that make any sense? This is for a, an eventual larger analysis and such. 87, maybe I do give up. I don't fucking remember where any of these guys are. <laughs> Whatever, we can get on top of the book. What kind of parkour can we, uh, can we wrestle up here? Oh. Boom. Beautiful. 92. We got the one behind the uh, the blackboard up top, certainly. Oh, there's these guys. That actually may be it, because there's one under here, and then these two. Are there any more past this part? I'm just going to use my vantage point a little bit to, uh, yeah, the yellow's on top of the thing. Right, 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 right. Ladies and gentlemen, all 100 Pikmin. See, I'm doing the content thing again. I don't, I don't mean to do that, you know. <laughs> so it starts us off with a poor Quillet, which I think is really an interesting first boss to begin the game with because when you think about it, the first day, or rather the tutorial of every other Pikmin game, like Pikmin One's day one, doesn't have a boss. It has no enemies, in fact. It just has the impact site. You move the box, you get the engine. Pikmin 2, uh, you learn how to control your captain separately, and you just you squish the paper bag, you grow some reds, that's all. Pikmin 3, Charlie obviously gets attacked, um, but then when you go to Alf, there are only female shear grubs, I believe. But it's really interesting that in Pikmin 4, they decided, oh, you know, let's just hit them with a mini-boss right off the rip. And I wonder why they do something like that. You know, like, is do you guys think that this is too much? I don't believe that the poor Quillen can kill my Pikmin. But I, I, I don't remember. I feel like they didn't in the first playthrough. You can't have any Pikmin die to it. Okay, Sean, I, I believe that is correct. Because I'm pretty sure we tried to do that uh, last time. And that's a, that's another good point, Flint Echoes. It did indeed make the demo uh, probably a little bit more interesting. It shows off a little bit more content. Uh, a different world Pikmin 4 is releasing in compared to Pikmin 1, 2, and, uh, and 3. Frankly, compared to Pikmin 1 and 2, Pikmin 3 also had a demo and, and whatnot. Um, but let's just see, like, what happens. Do we even have an HP bar? We don't. Alamar and Moss don't even have an HP bar in the tutorial. It's like the little things that I'm just curious about. But let's... Let's demonstrate the fact that these spikes aren't able to to hurt me. Uh, even if I'm trying to get hit by them, I just, I'll, I'll stay still. Okay, alright. Oh! Nope. Incorrect! They can die. How many Pikmin is it able to kill? Jesus. I'm just gonna let it, I'm just gonna let it rock and see how many it's actually able to, uh, to do. Again. 
Nope, stop it. Hey, boy. See, I'm not, I literally have not moved the controller at all, and he's almost dead. <laughs> not almost dead, but he's, he's halfway dead. It can kill all Pikmin. So you can lose the tutorial? Is that... Don't, don't attack him. Can you get a Pikmin extension in the tutorial? Is this something we're going to find out right now? Oh, you do still have moss. I see. That is really interesting, then. That's that's totally true. Without any HP bar, you can lose as many Pikmin as possible. See, that this is all information that I would not have known unless I tested this. And that is exactly, to a T, the reason that we're doing something like this. It's to be able to make that comment and share this type of analysis with people in a more condensed format. So it can kill as many Pikmin as it freaking wants, which is crazy. But without a HP bar for Olimar and Moss, you are unable to be softlocked. And here's the thing too, because this is the review copy, you guys won't see it. I'm gonna stand, I'm just gonna, just gonna dip. I don't know what happens, but. I'm gonna, I'm gonna dip so I can take notes. Can he shoot at me from up there? How? Probably not. <laughs> Probably not. That's mad funny though. All right, let's let's just. I'm just gonna organize this. I'm gonna organize my thoughts a little bit. I have a uh, not a notepad, but I have my Google Doc open and stuff. So, can you even get an extinction here? We we were kind of trying. But it'll, it'll say Red Pikmin Extinction or whatever. How do I, uh, how do I separate all of my Pikmin? What the hell? Wait a minute. How do I dismiss everybody? What the, no, I don't want to. Do I even have the dismiss option yet? No, I don't. Then here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna bring up the reds, and we're gonna see if we can just have all of the reds die. Okay? Does that sound like a plan? And we'll try to get the extinction with just the reds. Uh, penguin H4X. What's going on? Welcome back to take out. Ow. Don't attack my mans. Don't do it. This is going to take probably forever. Do I have to be off moss? Oh, that actually might help. But I don't... Can I even get off moss? Dude, I don't think I can get off moss. How do... Because it's just... I'm pretty sure I can't. I'm pretty sure I... No, it's not. Press Y to get off moss. So that's... Yeah, you can't. <laughs> so, that is another thing. Which I find to be kind of interesting. Don't, like, we're gonna get... We're gonna do our best to get a uh, good old Pikmin extinction. Uh, this might take a very long time. But I don't want them to, to kill him. I'll try to maybe run away? No, that's not good. What? Terrible aim, bro. Terrible, awful aim. Okay, great. Schmack. Really? Nobody? Dude, this is gonna take forever, bro. This is gonna take forever, bro. I just do not know. <laughs> We've only had four Pikmin die, and we're legitimately just standing here waiting for him to, to do his thing. 
you're capped at a 25 loss? I don't think so. Because we've lost 26. See, this is, this again, all for the sake of footage. I don't like the way him he looks, though. I don't like the way the poor Quillen looks. I think it is, it is a foul enemy, for sure. Dude. I can't believe this. They're more death resistant, potentially. I'm so interested. Why is it like this? They're getting hit. Video took forever to record for the guy who ran the experiment. What, dude? This is this is kind of wild. They need to be on Moss. I don't think so either. I don't think that's the case. What is that video called? Uh, Nick two seven five one. What's good with that video? Because I'm going to put down a link. This is all going to help me in post. You know what I'm saying? You guys are working together with me to uh, make this quote-unquote review analysis of Pikmin 4. I want to be able to credit whoever it is. You can't put the link, unfortunately. Uh, he is now not attacking us at all. That is that is very interesting. Okay, that's, that's very funny. You're thinking Groink physics? It could be Groink physics. Hmm. All right. Tutorial. 100 Pikmin, obviously. You have billions of dollars to break me like dragons. You can't break me. I played Pikmin through Kaizo. I played Pikmin 3 Maximum Spice. I played Galaxy Kaizo. Mystery Dungeon Kaizo. Don't even get me started. Iggy, thank you for the donation. Of course. Alright, what is this guy called? The Pork Quillen? Let's just say... What happens when you get Tutorial Extinction by Peppy29? Okay, that's what I want to write down for myself, you know. So that we don't have to sit here and do that, we can just kind of move on. Because otherwise, we'll literally be here forever. The, uh, the link in chat and stuff doesn't work. Um, these are just things for, for my notes. Omar and Moss, no health bar. Uh, cannot get off Moss is another important one that I want to make sure I... Get off the moss. The spikes might do damage. This is indeed vanilla Pikmin 4, yes. Don't give up the grind. Your request, can I freeze the sire hound? We'll see. We'll see. What's a review playthrough? Well, I'm just getting footage. And I'm I'm chatting about it. Foolproofing vibes, you wouldn't be shocked if the game eventually does it for me. Does what for me? Kills it for me? I am cur- Like, I do want to know, but I also don't want to sit here forever. Because I will... Let me... Let me type this into... Let me do real quick. The first thing that comes up is me. I typed what happens when you get tutorial extinction into YouTube and the first recommended is my own fucking stream. <laughs> That's the dumbest thing. That's the dumbest thing. I hate that so much. What the hell? 
Peppy 29. Fuck. No more results? What do you mean, no more results? You told me the exact... Oh, okay, got it. Alright, perfect. I, I use quotation marks. How long have you been on this game? Alright, perfect. Again, everybody will get, will get credit and the whatnot. Can you even die? No. No. I am not buying this. Alright, beautiful. Uh, we've lost a good chunk of Pikmin. Maybe not as many as I wanted. I wanted everybody to die, certainly. But I think it's it's a good time to, uh, to move on. Okay? I think we'll just probably nerf this too. Never mind. <laughs> I'm not paying attention. I'm hardly paying attention. I feel like... Yeah, let's just, let's just do that. But that's all. You found the video instantly? Yeah, I had quotation marks around the uh, the title of the video, which I think influenced YouTube's searching. Because as soon as I took away the quotation marks, it was uh, it was all good, you know. Interstellar radio. Now, what does the interstellar radio look like compared to... I'm going to put this down. Do I stream on Twitch? No, I stream on YouTube. That's why I'm here. <laughs> Not anymore. Past the Twitch days. It's got a screen now. With this back in my possession, I can finally call for help. Beautiful. That's the analog computer from Pikmin 1 for some reason. Shame they only used half the parts in Alamar's Side story. Okay, well, let's actually... See, these are the kind of little tidbits that I'd want to include. Immediately sent out an SOS signal and attached the latest version of my voyage log. Days and weeks passed. All right. So let's let's actually chat about the implication that this is in fact a different timeline from the original, right? Because it's a retelling of Pikmin One, and the Rescue Corps obviously doesn't exist in Pikmin One or Two. Is Pikmin 4 a separate... Is Pikmin 4 part of a separate timeline than 1, 2, and 3? Or is it part of the same timeline as Pikmin 3? Soft reboot. Almar's journal has him dream of the events of Pikmin 2 and 3. I'll definitely be taking a look at, obviously, the Pikwipedia. And, uh, and the journal and everything. Stuff I didn't look at in uh, our initial playthrough of Pikmin 4. I didn't do that at all. Umbra, what's good? Yes, indeed. Umbra did the uh, did the um, disco long legs thumbnail, or the, the groovy long legs thumbnail, and then also the final one with uh, our Captain Jim and Ochi looking out uh, for the Pikmin 4 Supercut, which uh, I personally really, really love. I think both pieces were phenomenal, so... Um, Davis, what's good? I have not, uh, taken a peek at the, uh, the Clips video just yet. I was with my girlfriend a little bit earlier today, and, uh, I wanted to get some of this done. Following emergency protocol, all officers were directed to evacuate the spaceship immediately. Finding the dispersed rescue corps is now my top priority. So, the interesting thing to me is that pretty much any ship that comes close to the Pikmin planet is going to crash. Due to the fact in the opening cutscene, Alamar called the Pikmin mysterious, but the Pikmin, which is different to the other times of Pikmin 2 and Pikmin 3. 
Pikmin 3 can't take place later as the Kopai or on. You don't think Nintendo knows or cares? I kind of agree to. Uh, all right, what is our character gonna look like for this review playthrough? Obviously, we can change the way they look later. I think let's go with. Uh... Let's, let's see. I mean, I, I've been inside a lot, so I'm, I'm white as can be. I look like fucking dingo. This is my dude right here. This is my dude. Do a girl this time. There's only. Is there. I guess this is androgynous. Correct. <laughs> I, is this supposed to be like a female model too? Oh no, this is Nell, right? This is Nelly. Or Nell, whatever that character's called. I just. I hate the way this looks so much. <laughs> I don't like it at all. Alright, again, this is all for the footage, so. I'll have to cut there. This gets. This, they, get, they get dark. <laughs> Unlike Pokemon games, Pikmin actually lets you be black, which is crazy. I guess Pokemon nowadays lets you be black. Alright, now that we've done all of that, let's figure out exactly how many combinations that there can be, okay? How many different Pikmin characters can there be? Okay, 8 times 4 times another 10 times another 6 times another 6 times another 6. There are 69,120 combinations that you could possibly be. Protagonist lack of a soul is why they didn't crash when entering the planet's atmosphere. I love that idea. The secret. Oh, true. The leafling body type. Forgot. Okay. Well, let's say character creator base combinations. Sixty-nine. Okay. We don't know how many leaf things are. We'll we'll recheck. We'll recheck as soon as we get the the other stuff. You know. Um. Let's you. I'm gonna put in my notes. Let's you. Actually, be black. Unlike Pokemon. Just as a nice little little joke in there. You know. <laughs> I'm already writing the script, guys. I'm already writing the script. Is there only one uh, leafling body type, or is there like a, a bunch of? Uh, is there? It's only just the leafling, right? There's no other extra ones you can unlock. It's literally just the single. Well, then you get different eyes too, right? Six eyes and six colors. So, okay, whoa, 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 okay, let's figure it out now, then. Let's figure it out now. So then there becomes five different body types. Six colors, six phases. But you can only use those on the leaflings, correct? Oh, God, that's more complicated math than I thought. Maybe it's not, and maybe I'm just tired and being dumb. But if you can only use those on the leaflings, then they have to be separate because you can't use them on the regular ones. So you gotta... 
You gotta do a little bit of finagling. Gotta crunch the numbers, you know. I don't wanna do that, though. <laughs> don't all body types have unique faces? So is it just is it just added then? I I'm not sure. I I'm not sure exactly how it all works. We'll have to get there. We'll have to get there. We'll have to get there first. I'm not gonna bother with it now. In before the comment that's like you spent 15 minutes in the character creator. Because I always get a comment like that. I got a comment like that on the Pal World VOD. I was pissed about that. I was like, of course, there's like thousands of options. I was like, why would you not spend at least a little bit of time deciding what you want your character to look like? And like 11 minutes isn't that much. Whoever commented that, truly, fuck you. <laughs> truly, you're the worst. <laughs> none of you, it's none of you. I know it's none of you. <laughs> but that dude, or that girl, or whoever the hell that was, they're the worst. Worst type of comment there. We don't like those, you know. Alright, let's uh let's let's go with the dingo. The dingster. This is what I'm gonna look like after editing the video. This is kinda how my hair looks when I wake up. And uh Honestly, if I could rock any particular hair color, I think pink would be pretty sweet. Last time we were all... Captain Jim was purple last time. Let's... Maybe we do... Maybe we do a little bit of green. You know, green for Pikmin. Does that make any sense? Oh, oh boy. Yeah, green for, for Pikmin things. Enter my name. That is my name. Hef is my name. That's crazy. My name's Jim, but... Uh, well, this is... This is Hef. From Carrot. Home planet of carrot. Fantastic. I know I'm being very thorough to start this off. I'm sure that won't last. You guys know me. My attention span is just absolutely god awful. <laughs> the fate of the rescue. I like this whole Star Wars thing they got going on. I wish I could, I mean, I can pause with the home menu and everything, but they straight up do like a hyperspace jump, but they n have never done that. Oh, that's not true. That's not true. That's not true at all. Actually, they totally did in Pikmin 2. They totally jumped to hyperspace. They, they just do it like Star Wars. I just had to picture the, uh, the cutscene real quick. They do do the hyperspace jumps. Short, tall, bulky, and something else. Is this one tall? Search for the missing rescue officers. I will. I promise. I just want to survey the land first. Obviously, this is where the... Like... Base game kind of starts. Hello. Oh, good afternoon. Ochi with the green collar. So cute. So we find Ochi on the planet. Ochi at this point isn't our dog at all. This is his first mission. This is Ochi's first mission? I don't think I knew that. I thought Ochi was a fucking vet. Wait a minute. Pikmin 3 literally had the hyperdrive key. That's true, too. That's true, too. Going out of a warp is literally the first thing we see. In Pikmin 1 or in... Because I thought... I can picture it in Pikmin 2, but I cannot picture it in Pikmin 1 for the life of me. Let's see. Thank you for the donation. This is Ochi's first mission. I don't think I ever knew that. Again, I didn't do a lot of reading. I was too excited to play. I just mashed through everything the first time, which is why I'm back the second time. With no webcam, no chat, no notifications. I apologize for that and all of whatnot, but Ochi's first mission. Beautiful. The official species name is Space Dog. That's also... <laughs> That's also a fun fact I'm going to write down. <laughs> this is what I mean. We get to collaborate on a review together, guys. This is this is different than anything I've ever done. So I'm I'm happy about this, you know. Cuz I can have my own takes, but but you guys are going to be the ones who tell me all of the information that the world knows. 
that I don't because I don't know everything. OG's from Gia. What the fuck is Gia? Is this also supposed to be a vegetable reference? Making a big fat review of Pikmin 4. Shh, shh, T Dog. Shh, it's okay. It's okay. Maybe. We'll see how long it ends up being, but. We found them. Was that our mission? Oh, so fire. Let's go. Rescue Corps is rescue pup OG. Remaining six rescue officers are still out here somewhere. I received the restored level from Pikmin 3 that was finished last year. Indeed, I did. Hello, my dude. I know it's very tempting to just mash past all of this nonsense and whatnot. All right, you find uh, Colin first, which I find to be really interesting. Is Shepard the one in the cave? I thought Colin was the one in the cave. B, whistle. What's up, big dog? Woof. Get him. I wish there was a New Game Plus, because I would probably be playing this on New Game Plus otherwise. I can't wait to see Doggo drown again. That's messed up. <laughs> That's messed up, Zach. Get him, Ouch. All right. Do we like Colin? Is Colin somebody that, you know, over the last seven or eight months or so, have we grown to like Colin? Colin gets annoying. I think he starts out fire. I think the, the stance is sweet. But I think that after that, I think he, he falls off. As soon as he gets very know-it-all, you know? Also, remember the theories that this dude was a robot? Thank the stars, I wasn't sure that my SOS signal had reached HQ. So, okay, we came in the little one. They came in the big one. They came in the big one with Ochi, right? So how long have they been crash landed on this planet as the rescue corps Are? the game theory is calling a robot it that was one of the legitimate like theories though people were speculating that that colin was like a robot because of how he looked and his like spirally hair Ten hours at the minimum. Do we measure it in Earth time or their planet's time? This is Earth, though, correct? Uh, th this time. This this planet's time. There's a house. There's an engagement ring. No other damn uh, <laughs> species has engagement rings, okay? These are humans here on this planet. It's not post-apocalyptic, either. Like we thought. Definitely not. Never known Ochi to listen to anyone other than our captain. Ochi listens to me. Communications operator. The f <laughs> Writing it down. Colin. You guys know I can't. I can't be taken seriously. <laughs> I'm trying my hardest. To <laughs> I'm trying my hardest, bro. Communications operator. What does that mean? You run a lab eventually, bro. What? All right. Colin's also from Gia. Wait a minute. Is this all of the Rescue Corps from Gia? These are all things I want to write down. Because I want to maybe dissect the Pikmin solar system at one point. But again, we'll get there. Wait. Oh, Russ might run the lab. What the fuck does Colin do then? Communications. He's handy with a wrench. He's a robot. Phenomenal. I forgot about Russ. Russ has that negative swag. So I forgot about him. Uh-huh. Comms operator. That's one down. Now where could the other rescue officers be? Hello. Your path got cut off by a small landslide. And when your hunger became unbearable, you decided to nap to preserve 
your stamina. Okay, all right. So when does being hungry become unbearable? Because that gives us an idea of how long they were on the planet. Because he's not dead. Dude's not dead, okay? But also, canonically, I think we're like four centimeters tall, right? Around. Somebody's going to give me the actual specs on these Pikmin captains, right? But like, does a four centimeter tall organism starve slower than an actual human size person? I imagine so. Not as big, don't need as many nutrients and stuff, so you don't need to eat as much, so you starve less quickly. Less, yeah. <laughs> yeah. How do the castaways in Strand for over like, like a month not die before you get to them? Charlie could last like 30 days inside a bat without starving. It's so interesting. Starve the same rate, less metabolism, but less energy storage. They don't breathe oxygen, so their energy production is completely different. Uh -huh. That's what I'm saying. They starve faster. The more mass an organic life needs, the more they need to eat, especially if you have a fast metabolism. That's what I'm saying. Size of a quarter inch tall. A dime large centimeters tall. Single day worth of juice was similar size. Okay, so he knows who we are, at least. But we didn't crash onto the planet, but everybody else did. This is interesting to think about. I agree, Sparrow. I agree. As I mentioned before, I was the one who sent out that emergency signal. The rest of the rescue corps, well, it was a rough landing. We entered the planet's atmosphere and lost control of the ship. The Umibozu... Was it you, Mibozu? What happened? Oh? You have no idea. The plasm rights? <laughs> Six officers on the ship, but we were separated when we ejected from the spacecraft. That's important. It's important that they ejected Rescue Corps. ejected from the spacecraft. Okay, because they're very separated, right? Alamar didn't eject. Alamar just took the crash landing to the face. Alamar just went down with his ship, right? Because he's right there with the main part of the SS Dolphin. He just goes down directly with him. Maybe he ejects at like the last second, potentially, but not right now. Is this a review or theory crafting? It's both. It's both. This is the analysis. Okay. The ejected language is really important. They probably have escape pods. This is just Star Wars. <laughs> what if Yanni had been turned into a leafling? Came here to find Olimar, whose own ship had crashed, only to suffer the same fate. Yes. It's almost embarrassing. It is embarrassing. Well, hey. Confirm that our spaceship, the Shepard, landed somewhere over there. Couldn't reach it on your own. Now that you're here, maybe we find a way back to it. We shall. Cumple. If we're lucky, we'll come across a few stranded rescue officers along the way. Can you go? And then Colin is the one who gives us the whatever the freaking, the copad. Except it doesn't have a camera, which is sad. The camera is the most fun part. Uh, it's just the Rescue Corps tablet. It's just the tablet. I'm writing notes. Bear with me. They have four or five fingers. Uh, five? Our captain has five. Well, eight fingers and two thumbs. 
Got him. Some have four, some have five. Oh, what? Does Colin have? Wait. Colin always carries an extra tablet. Colin, why did you not eat this tablet? If you were that hungry. Hello? Oh yeah, you can't take off the helmet or you'll die. Yeah, that makes that makes perfect sense. My bad. Okay. Review my missions. I will do such a thing. Yamo? What language is this in? Has there been a cipher? Like, to determine what this actually says. You can use this app anytime to confirm what tasks are top priority. Their differences in fingers could be because of the different original planets, different species. Yep, I totally agree. I totally agree. Do we ever see feet? Do they all have the same amount of toes? Stop with the toe talk. Oi. Oi. We are not playing Pokemon Radical Red right now. We are not looking at a colossal. My boy, feet. Anytime to confirm what tasks are top priority. All right, what's priority, Colin? Other handy apps to share. Do you have Doodle Jump installed on this joint? Tatalo. Angry Birds? Holio. <laughs> that was a beast of Doodle Jump. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. I'm looking at the little details of the text, okay? Is there... We know Kopai has its own language, and that's fine. But, like... So, Colin's from Gia, so I imagine this is in, like, Guianese, okay? This is the review copy. The review playthrough, guys. You gotta understand. I don't just scratch the surface. We're actually chatting about it, me and you, together. Funny LOL meme. What are we doing in this joint? That's what I'm saying. Is there a cipher to, to figure out what this text actually says? I want, I'm going to at least count the letters, okay? I'm going to at least count the number of characters and see if they line up one to one. They probably don't. I'm going to have to, like, draw it. <laughs> There's no such thing as an apostrophe in this either. You wondering why he's analyzing everything, not realizing what this video is true. True. We doing research, oh yeah. We'll be doing some science experiments, don't worry. I'm gonna okay, now I'm gonna go to Google instead. I'm gonna go to Google. Pikmin for language. Are they speaking Japanese is the first Reddit comment. No, you fucking moron. It's probably, it's Japanese backwards, I'm pretty sure, but. Copiat script is an actual readable written language based on Latin letters. Spoken dialogue of the Pikmin series is just gibberish with some Japanese words peppered in. Is it? Reddit. Tell me more, Reddit. Okay. Oh, wait, is this Copiat text? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, no way. Oh, my God, there, it's on Google. Oh, my God, it's on Google. What does it say in the background? Oh, my God, we can decipher this. Wait, we can actually decipher what it says. Oh god, this is going to take forever. <laughs> this is going to take forever, dude. It's Uh I think it's gibberish. I <laughs> I think it's gibberish, guys. I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but I'm almost positive it's gibberish. Because the first two letters are, at least with the, the brackets, right? 
with the brackets, the first two letters are Y and then H. H A Q Y Yeah, it just looks like gibberish. Here, somebody who's more invested than me. <laughs> here's the here's the cipher. I'm glad somebody else did it because I absolutely did not want to be the one to do it. I mean, it probably comes directly from Nintendo or whatever, but I mean, goodness gracious. It's just gibberish. It's like, it's Y-H-A-Q and then it goes, oh wait, by Copiat symbol? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. By Latin letter? Oh no. Are there multiple? Oh shit. No, wait. Oh no. No. There's, m oh God. I don't have the idea. Maybe it reads lorem ipsum. That'd be really funny, actually. But I don't think so. Because that first character, it could mean I or Y. Your hack is not the end, like Shaq. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Oh, wait, no. It could be I had. It could be I had. Oh, this is going to time out. I had n no. Okay, wait. We can translate this shit. We, I, I got it right now. I had no. Oh, you got it? It says shoes. I'm looking for that character, but I can't find it. W, wait. I had no... Way. Okay. I had no way of... that one Re it could be rescuing hold on <laughs> this is the dumbest shit I've ever done in my whole life <laughs> I had no way of ret just screen capture these and figure it out later yo you're totally right you're totally right. That's such a better idea. I'm just having fun doing it with you guys. If somebody else wants to figure it out for me, that'd be beautiful. I know nobody will, so I know I'm going to have to do it myself. These are already deciphered on the website. I don't... Are they? Because it, it doesn't... Like, this bracket text, I don't think it does. Oh, tablet loading? Wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. LOS it? Are you... You just copy... Pasta from... Returning home to my beloved family, I thought I was doomed until I countered strange PCs. Oh, where is that? I'm so glad I won't have to translate the whole thing, but I am looking for it. I could, you know, control F, but... I'm looking for it on this, uh... This thing right here. No, because that's Pikmin 3. Are you sure you found it? That's crazy. <laughs> I'm wasting so much time. I came here to get good footage. Nope. Nah. This is... Oh, tablet background. Wait a minute. I had... Oh, okay, yeah. I had no way of returning home to my beloved family. I thought I was doomed until I encountered a strange species, which I named Pikmin. What is five? What the? Okay, this is for a later time, but I will just, uh, I will do 
beautiful. <laughs> hey, you know what? Hey, you know what? We try to do it ourselves. Somebody else was crazier than me and already did it, though. Unless Nintendo published it and all of the nonsense and stuff. But, okay. <laughs> now then, let's go find the SS Shepard. Fantastic, let's do it. Okay, sorry, sorry to linger on that for so long. I just got really invested in deciphering some hidden messages, okay? On the call? There she is. The SS Shepard. Standing there waiting for the little dude to read the one paragraph on the tablet. <laughs> That's true. That's true. Hef can't read. Captain Jim could read. Captain Hef can't read. Captain Jim had a master's degree. Captain Hef makes his money on YouTube. <laughs> something familiar about this area. I remember something. It's just up ahead. Why do you wait? How could you possibly remember this area? That doesn't make any sense to me. Also, is this the only time we have another captain following us like this? Does he react to the whistle at all? No. Okay. Good to know. What's on the ship? Decipher that. Uh, it probably just says Shepard, I'll be honest. Okay, big hole in the ground. If only we could find a way there, we could finally reunite with the SS Shepard. H-T-C-U-G-N or H-T... H... What? It's impossible to get over the ledge. Use that to find another route. I... want to... Okay. Interesting. The worst vanity plate. It's straight up a vanity plate. That's so funny. I can't believe 150 of you just watched me try to decipher the background of the menu of Pikmin 4. Ah, <laughs> oh, man. The internet's such a joyous, wonderful place sometimes, isn't it? All right, you can see why the rescue pups are the rescue corps pride and joy. However, Ochi is the only rescue pup we meet, correct? This just looks like the other hole we saw. Hi. Yes. Do we like the design of the caves in Pikmin 4? Watched is a stretch. More listened. It's true. This is just a podcast. The ship was translated pre-release. That's insane. People are crazy. Probably a previous rescue pup. Are Ochi and Moss the same species? Obviously, it's implied that they are. But, like, how did Moss get here? One of these two holes are somehow connected underground. Potentially. Hello? That is the only time that we see... Well, actually, no, that's not the only time. Because you see it in the Heroes Hideaway, right? Just going to dive right in. For real? Question mark? Must act with courage in the face of any danger. Shut the fuck up, Colin. Right, let's do it. Forest caves are definitely more varied. It's implied that the ancestors or Ochi species came from Earth with the final boss. Could be longer, random. <laughs> a transport cave thingy. Oh, I see, like, I don't remember a lot of the stuff, and that's the reason we're playing it again, you know? Trying to tell us something. Perhaps another rescue officer is down here. Alright. This is the Burrow of Beginnings. We knew that already. And we were like, oh my god, they brought back caves in Pikmin 4, which is crazy. Definitely the right call. I, I appreciate the way that Pikmin 3 tried to handle caves. You know? I appreciate that. And I, I can't believe... Pikmin 4, if anything, hits you right off the rip with uh, some garbage. They hit you with a mini boss, and then they hit you with these three bulborb larvae. Watch out. 
So Shepard's scared. Shepard, you could just punch him in the face. That terrified individual you see over there is the captain of our rescue corps team. Look sharp, Hef. <laughs> Why would I look sharp? Look at this. No time for a history lesson. Hurry up and do something. Uh, okay. Fantastic. I'm gonna do a lot of screenshots as well. No, 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 no. Okay, so Ochi can can do this. I can also punch. I'm gonna do it myself. Because I don't want Ochi involved. Ochi, I don't want you involved. No, I did. I said I don't want you involved, bro. All right, Shepard, you can get down. Shepard's got real Luigi energy right now. Now we can relax a bit. Yeah, get down here. Yeah, can you get down? This is when we liked Colin. That's a reset. Yeah, okay. Almost numb. You've been hanging on so long. You can do this. Do you just plop? Or do you actually just... Do you stick the landing? No, you plop. Fantastic. Personality. We like that. I like that in my Pikmin games. What's your status, Colin? Are you okay? I'm gonna ask you that. Colin's ears are kind of square. Mm -hmm. Rookie training camp. Where are all the other rookies? Probably on other planets, then? Con peaked at the start when he wasn't exposition dump. True. No. Order Ochi to get rid of all these creatures by yourself. Uh, no. I punched two of them in the face, and then Ochi tried to take my triple kill. Uh, I wasn't very happy about it. I'm not sure which one of us technically got him, but I'm doing the content thing. I don't mean to do the content thing. Fuck. I'm trying to do a review. <laughs> I'm trying to analyze the game, and I'm doing content, folks. Rookie training paid off after all. Fantastic. Okay. I have a feeling you'd make a top-notch dog trainer. My girlfriend is a dog trainer. Again, with the content. That's just a fun fact for you guys. For you guys, okay? Mm -hmm. Shepard's also from Gaia. This is important. This is important. Shepard is such a nepo baby, true. True, true, true. Don't exactly dislike. We need an ultra spice. Color. I think we need a um, new game plus. Quite frankly. Okay. Push the difficulty in this game is less worried about combat. Instead, just encourage you to get better and better at time managing in general. I think that there's some sentiment to that. Shepherd. Not Shephard. I always spell Shepherd with an A. I don't mean to. Is that is that a way to spell Shepherd? Am I just really that dumb? Nah, so it's, it's a way to spell Shepherd. Masculine name of English origin. Okay, alright, so alright, alright. They're interchangeable a little bit. Also from Gia. Okay. Uh, saved by a rescue pup as a child, sparking a lifelong love for her furry colleagues. Fantastic. <laughs> 99th Gen Rescue Corps Officer. 99th Gen? Dude. Does that mean that, like, it's, like, every 30 years as a generation? Because that's crazy that the Rescue Corps has stood longer than every government on planet Earth right now. <laughs> that's, that's crazy. Only gotten worse over time. Well, that's not totally fair. 
We got Captain Shepard right in the middle. Beautiful. Awesome. Captain here, it feels like there may be some hope for us after all. I'm not in the picture, which I think is messed up. I get it, but it ain't cool. What were you doing down here anyway? That's a good question. How? You discovered a suspicious hole. I see, so she fell in the opposite way. Wandered around, came upon icky, slimy creatures. What does Louis say? Louis says something gnarly about the Bulborb larva. He said, you just like, <laughs> I forget what he exactly he says, but, but Louis, uh, he said something disgusting. He, he said like an all you can eat buffet. <laughs> Bro's gnarly, dude. Fall down the hole located near the SS Shepherd. Fantastic. Okay, that, that checks out. What are we waiting around here for? I'm not. I don't know who you're looking at. You're looking at the camera, which is I find to be interesting. Copy that. And I'm like, uh, yeah, uh-huh, yeah. I didn't say anything. Copy that is the Rescue Corps' way of saying understood. We, we, we know this. So, okay, all right. I'm going to make a note of this. This nonsense, I dislike. Let's just talk about that. Dislike lengthy tutorial of course i'm lengthening it myself okay of course i am because i'm analyzing it that's what i'm doing here but even when i played through it the first time it's like it's like the pokemon dialogue options that are just there for the sake of being there do you know what i mean you have not played this game since beating it last year but now you're itching to play because of me that's exactly what i i've never i haven't played it since playing it uh back in July. Dislike the lengthy tutorial. Because technically, Olimar's stuff was the tutorial, and then we get hit with a second tutorial. Copy that, though. Very good, excellent reply. A+. Plus. Thank you. Okay, Rescue Corps Rescue Journal for my upcoming missions. Missions? Plural? Interesting. Oh, she pulls an iPad out of nowhere. Does that say rescue? I think that just says rescue. I'm gonna learn this goddamn language, guys. I'm gonna be able to read it, okay? <laughs> I'm gonna learn it myself. Also, this looks crazy. Wait a minute. Don't stop till night missions. They kinda, kinda happen. Looks it up and finds out it actually says fescue. True. Uh, advice left by captains, both past and present. You have no doubt the knowledge and wisdom they share here will guide you well. Okay. Irma Shepard. Which is, oh my goodness, guys. I thought Don Bergman was the only one with a first and last name. Her name is Irma Shepard. Irma. I could have sworn that was the only character with a first and last name, but here we go. Erm, actually. All right, gameplay guide. Let's, can't do anything. Fantastic. Close is the positive. Okay, and then tablet menu. Fantastic. Okay, you got the radar map. It shows you below the cave. Missions. Fantastic. ID badges, which I am going to briefly probably touch on. History and stats. What the? What is? I have never seen this before. Uh huh. Yup. Yeah. Dude, they they just give a straight up PowerPoint slideshow about this. Larry, thank you for the donation. I appreciate it. To differentiate her from family, uh, other Captain Shepherds. No, totally. No, I, I get it. Totally. Time for another rescue. Okay, yep. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I mean, none of this matters, but, like, it's just interesting to me. The, there's a... The message log? Okay, this is... This is footage, straight up. All right. 
lengthy tutorial. We've done it. <laughs> mission length one. Oh god, my playtime is ticking up. I've already. What is mission? What? Mission length one? Like. What mission? The ball. Okay, whatever. You approve of my partnership. <laughs> Alright. Alright, good. In-game days. Okay, I got you. And it has to be one day. I understand. It tracks mission lengths, I guess. Quite the conundrum. What would I do? Mother. I'm trying to, like... So, it wouldn't let me actually charge OG yet. Even OG can't chew his way through this one. You tried to have OG chew the pots? A forced mistake. I literally tried to do the rushing thing. I don't know how you got all of the pots there. But, but you did. Awesome. Okay, whatever. I think that's dumb. I, it lets me rush. I did something wrong. Are you true? I rushed the rush? Oh, maybe I did rush the rush. Perhaps I... Interesting. Okay, well, I'm not going to write that down. Because then it was just my mistake. How are we supposed to climb up there? Get up. Don't think I pressed... Well, okay, so I definitely hit X the first time to rush. But perhaps maybe Ochi wasn't in my party, so it didn't work. I'm not exactly sure. Uh, I definitely like the geysers better than the fan. The fan doesn't really make any sense. Like, I'm okay with it, but I don't like it as much. Whoa. Excuse me, I suggest you exercise a bit more. I thought she was going to say, I suggest you exercise a bit more. <laughs> I got... I actually got a little bit mad. Um, more caution when encountering something unfamiliar. What? Maybe just don't just touch it. What did I do? What, the fan? Picture. I completely agree. This is fucked up. I said that the first time I played this too. Really? Sometimes I go back through editing myself and I'm like... This is the joke I would have made. And then I make that joke and I'm like, God damn it. I'm like, I am totally, <laughs> totally the same person I was <laughs> seven months ago. And that's fine. That's okay. All right. I'm going to put down, all right. Burrow of Beginnings is the first cave, which is, it's pretty lackluster actually. Burrow of Beginnings. It's one floor, three bullboard larva, nothing down there. It ain't shit. This might be them lampshading how convenient the fan as an exit is with this. I guess so. Yeah, what if it didn't blow us up and instead sucked us deeper? It's true. And we've conquered it somehow. Beautiful. Nice Ooh. job, team. I don't like the green on them, but I had to do something different than my other playthrough. The green feels wrong somehow. Status report on all cave-related activities. Fishy. Tell me about it. One castaway. No other individuals were found. Uh, yep, 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 yep. Experience will help me prepare for the challenges inherent to our work. Yeah, I got it. You okay? Well done, Hef and Ochi. Fantastic. We're just going to skip right over the fact that we had to rescue the captain herself. I guess so. Okay. You look different since the last time I saw you. Did you do something new with your hair? 
He's had a helmet on the entire time, Shepard. Teaching your pose? <laughs> yeah, he's been a bit busy to trying to, you know, stay alive. Huh. No, I, I like green as a color. I just don't like it on these characters. Good for you, you did it. Here <laughs> here she is, the SS Shepherd. Okay. That's the second time they have uh given the ship a pronoun, of course. You know, usually ships, boats, all types of things like that are referred to with feminine pronouns. I find that to be interesting. Am I analyzing that? No. That is just a tale as old as time. Is that smoke pouring out of the SS Shepherd? Uh oh. So wait, 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 wait. Okay, all right, all right. Let's let's consider this, okay? So Shepard crashes with her ship, right? She's here. She goes in the cave exactly the way we came out. So she should know if the ship was smoking or not already. Unless it wasn't smoking when they first crashed. And it started to smoke? I'm confused. That's confusing. That doesn't make any goddamn sense at all. It just happened to decide to start smoking. Because it has been at least, let's say at least 12 hours since they've crash landed on the planet. Okay? At least 12 hours. Punch it could have started. This is true. This is true. I'll investigate right away. Famous last words. What band sings that song? Is that My Chemical Romance? I think that's My Chemical Romance. <laughs> that just sent me back to being like 10. Status report. Looks good. All right. Interior. Overheated. Great. Seconds away from total destruction. Wow, that's fucking not good. Remember how the SS Dolphin literally turned into a fireball and the pieces themselves literally became fireballs? Yeah, but everything was fine. It's all good. It's all good. Oh no, will it be okay? It will. Thanks, Colin. Alright, fantastic. Okay, energy stores are completely empty. No way of getting off the planet. Mm-hmm. Voyage log, yep. Take a look at this. Rescue. That's me. Version 2001. 20.0.1. Rather. Okay. After thorough investigation into the shiny objects found on the planet, you've deduct deducted, deduced, I just did my taxes, my apologies, uh, that they must contain sparklium. I feel giddy to have found real-life treasure, but my focus must remain on my main objective, finding the missing parts of the SS Dolphin. Number three, oh, just 31. Okay, I found treasure. Got it. I thought it was like 31i, but yeah, duh. Makes sense. Okay, fantastic. Trying to get out. It's weird that I have to do that, though. Okay, in layman's terms, treasure gives us sparkling. Sparkling objects. What is sparkling? Decipher the text next to the treasure. Okay, I'm almost positive. We'll go back. We'll go back here. It says treasure. It's actually already... Somebody already did this. It says, Treasure, zoom in on this glowing object. Sparklium. Sparklium can be converted into spaceship fuel and SS Shepard. That's what it says. Zoom in on this glowing object is what that says, yes. <laughs> Real life treasure. Fantastic. We have to play Hey Pikmin all over again to learn the lore. No, Hey Pikmin died, and also Citra is now permanently dead. So, I'm probably never touching that game again in my life. But that's okay. But that's fine. Shepard is skeptical. Uh huh. I'm also skeptical. How in the world do I turn a Game Boy Advanced SP into fuel? Does it fuel my memories? My childhood? Apparently. I love the apparently there. So, so doubtful from Shepard. 
can be used as an energy source. Yep, okay. We need 300 to restart the SS Shepherd, which makes sense. Hey, Pikmin may have killed Citra, period. All right. SS Beagle is the tiny one. It's very funny how this game is so dog-pilled. Just need a good place for it to land. Game Boy makes the most sense, to be honest, because batteries. No, 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 but this is the Game Boy Advanced SP. Eat your waffles. This ain't just a Game Boy. Landmark, not completely sure. Yeah, that that's just a nice little little tutorial. Sure, this is how it works. This is how we drag the base here. I understand why it's necessary. I'm I'm we're slogging a little bit, um, but that's okay. See anything sparkly? Oh, you know what's actually really weird? Really thinking about it, obviously. You know, this is what happens right now, right? Like, we, we find this fork, or what have you, whatever it is, emitting a high energy reading. Yep. Radar map. Yeah, I know about the tablet. Thank you, Colin. And it shows you that there is indeed, it's a star on the map, which means it's, uh, it has sparkling in it, which is, which is great, which is good. Now on, you can consult your radar map to check if there's any treasures in your area. Which, I think is actually, this is a pretty important part of the tutorial, so I'm not going to knock it for it, you know. There's just the plus button to do that. Okay, yep. Take this auspicious start as a good sign. Too big of a word for the children. How are we going to move it? Good question. Ochi. I love how they, they don't say, hey, send Ochi on it. Even though it automatically locks you on and you can send and whatnot, whatever. There's a two-prong, uh, fork. What do you call something like this? What exactly is... It, it's a fork, but it's more like, a it's more like something you stick in meat. What is that? What is that called? Meat fork. Is it just a meat fork? Barbecue fork? This game make me want a dog, kind of. The SP is still charged and just untouched on the ground. True. Uh, treasure is large. How can we physically collect something this big? Magic. Special type of light ray that miniaturizes objects during collection. Aha. Uh -huh. I'm going to take a screenshot because that makes perfect sense. Gameplay. <laughs> I'll examine it with sensors in the SS Beagle right away. I uh, hope it contains the type of energy we need. We've already confirmed that it does, right? Didn't we already say that yes, indeed? Like, we looked at the radar. Wasn't that the whole point? 250 more units. SS Shepard's supposed to run on high-octane energy. Will this work? All I have is high-octane gameplay. Actually, this is really low-octane gameplay. This is on purpose, though. We're, we're purposely low-octane right now. It's really hard for me to keep low-octane to try to really dive into to Pikmin 4, you know? Um, okay, now, obviously, there's the Game Boy Advanced SP. Right there. Beautiful. Beautiful and new, okay? I love this thing. Go watch my Pikmin 4 series. Go watch it. Go watch it right now. We cannot get the Game Boy Advanced SP just yet. It's not a skewer, really. No, it's not really a skewer. A skewer's longer. What's this? Is it a treasure? All right, guys. Big question. Big question. We're going to have Ochi dig up the red onion. How do we feel about the design of the Pikmin... For Anya. How do you feel about it?
Interesting. The pellet posies open up as soon as the onion is indeed sprouted. Otherwise, they did not open up, which I find to be quite interesting. You don't think it's a treasure. It's not. So, okay. You love it? It looks like an actual vegetable. I... I'm not sure. I, I think I like it. I think I like the way that three combines its onions more. But I think I'm just the base onion. I think I do love this a lot. Like, the Pikmin 1 and 2 onions were very, like, toy-like. You know? I, I don't have any, like, I love the Pikmin 1 and 2, of course. But I don't have any connection or, like, nostalgia for the onion's design. Does that make any sense? I, I like that this is more organic, kind of more textured... I don't know. I like it better. You miss the symbols? Oh, true. The lack of symbols is definitely kind of odd. The Mamuda pattern. It does. It is missing the Mamuda pattern. This is true. I'm going to write that down. I'm right. See, these are the things. These are the things I want to write down. This is why I have my notepad up, guys. All right, fork plus Game Boy. What's the third treasure? I don't even know. I'll do that. Okay. Uh, Pikmin 4 Onion does not have Mamuda pattern on it. I'll form my own conclusions and whatever. I just want to make sure I have that that down, you know. Uh, looks like a plant. Okay, yep. True. Be that thing Captain Olimar wrote about in his voyage a lot. He called it an onionom. Thank you, Khan. Uh huh. If this is an onion, then what is that sprout? Oh, ho! Roll credits. You know what I should have? I should have. Wait a minute. No, Pikmin don't. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. Let's figure it out. Let's figure it out right now. Me and you guys. Do Pikmin sprouts in the ground grow flowers? Do they do their cycle? You know what I mean? Do they bud and then become flowers? Or do they just stay leaves? Dumb question that I should know the answer to. They do. You tried, but it seems no. They only grow to flowers in day one and Pikmin one. I was going to say, because obviously this is a pre-rendered cutscene, I doubt that this Pikmin could have a flower. The sequels never allowed that. I guess they maybe don't do it in Pikmin 2 either. You mean here? I, I kind of mean here, but I mean just like in general too. They always can grow to flowers, even this one. Okay, well... You don't think in this tutorial, but they can in the game any time. Requires time to pass. Which would make sense. They do that? So this is... See, we got, we got contention. We got contention, you know what I'm saying? Already bonding with the Pikmin. I should introduce myself as well. I'm gonna feed him to a bull board. Ochi's freaking out. This is perfect. Getting five different answers. This is true. This is true. But this is why. I, I ask the question because if the answer isn't readily known, I want to be able to provide that answer for the people who watch maybe the eventual maybe video. Maybe. Analysis. Maybe. I'm saying maybe because I don't know when the fuck it would come out, but uh, Ochi's already bonding with the Pikmin. I should introduce myself as well. Sure. I already read that. I know. 
How long do you intend to? Okay, so Shepard is scared of the Pikmin. I'm gonna I'm gonna write that down real quick. I think we knew that, but I forgot about that because I mashed through all the dialogue. Shepard's scared of Pikmin. Uh, I'm gonna put for myself test. Can Pikmin grow? Can can the first Pikmin? grow a flower. That's a running gag. Yeah, that's what I kind of remember. Alright, um, here's what we're gonna do. Ready? Alright, one pellet. Beautiful. I love the way the pellets look in this game. Uh, obviously they're very similar and whatnot. Ochi's gonna do this. I might just have this sprout hang out. I might just have these two vibe and see if they, uh, you know, get buds and then flowers. I'll have to see. Wait 14 minutes to see if they grow. Easy. Waste 14 minutes of time, says the void. Easy. I've never done anything so easy in my life. It's already been like an hour and a half, guys. Get it, Ocean. I'm just gonna obviously get everything. OG cannot jump yet, um, but I will be able to throw the Pikmin this way. Beautiful. Yeah, go grab that. Okay. Yep. Nice job. They flower after day one. New flower species for Pikmin one. Has it come up? No. Just leave them in the ground till the next day. Well, there's no time limit, so that's why I'm gonna let them just vibe and exist, and you know, see if they do in fact grow stuff. What is this thing? It's a bell. Correct. Beautiful. Okay, we got a bell, a fork, and the Game Boy. And then this is... Okay, I thought that was a pile of dirt. It's not. I guess I'll just have a... Oh, hold on. I'm not gonna pluck them yet. I probably will, um go to the bathroom while I wait obviously for these flowers to uh, bloom or not bloom yeah, you gave yourself a four to five second delay on the stream I imagine the stream should be okay it shouldn't be uh it sh there shouldn't be any issues I don't see any issues on my end um my shit looks good I said excellent connect uh connection on YouTube so that was close, too close. Game Boy Advanced SP. This does not have any batteries in the back of it. I don't believe. I believe it is just simply a, uh, a charged, you know, battery pack. Specific to the Game Boy. Alright, you guys are gonna... This is some riveting gameplay. Are you ready? I'm gonna stand here. Y'all are gonna watch these Pikmin leaves wave about. Does that sound cool? Can you see the markings on this onion? Uh, there are no markings on the onion. Not just during the tutorial. They don't grow into flowers in this area, period. See, this is all interesting. They're there if I look closer. If I look closer. Are you gaslighting me? I'm being gaslit in my own chat. Interesting, the light that comes out of the onion is simply blue. Obviously, it's because the onions will eventually combine to form the master onion, but it's not the individual colored light. Like, it's not like a red light. Do you know what I mean? Might have disabled them budding here so people don't cheese it by waiting forever. I don't think it's like anything to cheese though, you know? You try to grow them here? 
If only this game had a photo mode, like three. Agree. Mm. Mm-hmm. Generic light. Yes. Precisely. Which, again, I understand it. But perhaps I don't love it. I'm gonna go to the bathroom. If you haven't left a like yet, you could do so. That'd be fun. I'm gonna go to the bathroom real quick, and then uh, I'll be back within, like, five minutes. If the flowers don't grow, it's not a big deal. Um, but this is good. I'm, I'm glad we're learning things together, guys. You know, togetherness. Is, it's important, okay? Leave one planted for the next day. Perhaps I do that. Are there flowers yet? <laughs> this is dumb. There's a hundred and fucking seventy of you here. We're looking to see if these Pikmin sprouts bloom flowers. This is very funny. Pikmin only evolve if the leaders in the same area as they are and if the gameplay is playing. Captain Jim Art? What? Might have missed it. Should be still be up there somewhere. Yeah, Umber, I think you have my Discord. Correct? Actually, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I think I tried to... You might not even be on Discord anymore. I feel like I tried to message you not that long ago. It didn't... Or maybe I'm making that up. No, I see you right here. Or is it in my own... I don't know. We'll, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Thank you very much for the donation. Definitely appreciate it. Oh, for sure. Oh, no, no. I tried to, like, DM. Like, not, like, in my server. My server is sometimes a little out of pocket. It might get nuked. We'll see. I keep saying that. But it's like the Cold War, you know? There's always the threat of it happening. Um, <laughs> not good to talk about right now due to various world events. But, hey, you know what? DMs are not open to non-server mutuals. Yes, that is exactly why I had an issue. Okay, that makes perfect sense then. Uh, I am in... Not, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll probably do that then. I'll probably do that. Um, language talk? You don't think they grow flowers on day one? I don't think so either. Has it been a long enough time? Uh, 
It's been a long enough time. This is fine. <laughs> it's totally okay. <laughs> I will leave... Let one for the next day. I'll leave one, okay? I'll leave one. I'll leave a single one. You are gonna stay there. All right, we have a 12. Can we charge yet? No, we can only throw. The charge horn is indeed an upgrade. One, oh, yeah. L and R at once to auto switch to Ochi. That doesn't. That doesn't. Can you go? What? One hour still on the tutorials, rough. Yep, it would be if I wasn't dissecting the game. <laughs> if I was just playing the game, it would be rough. But unfortunately, we've done some science. Uh, CC for Pikmin 4? Eh, don't know, it's not even. The invite on my channel doesn't work? Uh, yeah, no, it doesn't. Um, that's, again, the Discord's all, all whack. Discord IO had a data leak, so it just didn't work, and the invite is, like, a custom thing now. It's, like, too long to put in, in stuff, you know. Is it possible to change the Ochi when he's small? I don't believe so. You can't use Ochi as a captain. Until he's, uh, he's bigger, I believe. Did we do it? What are we missing? Oh, yeah, the bell. <laughs> I was like, I thought, I thought that that was the last thing we needed to do. I was like, why is it not ending? Well, let's do that. That's fine. That is all good. Command wise, not playing as. Interesting. Oh, thank you, Z. Thank you. Yes, that is very helpful. Huzzah! Thanks, Colin. Okay, fantastic combination, Heffinochi. Beautiful. Thanks a bunch. See, like, this is. You're not saying. Uh, this is this is messed up. This is this is some Pokemon dialogue. I'm gonna say thanks a bunch. I'm not gonna say copy that. Yes, yes. Keep up the good work. Maybe I should have said copy that. I forget what I did the first time. I probably should look. It's totally fine. They move and work like tiny rescue pups. They are just little dogs, aren't they, Shepard? You are very dog pilled, aren't you? Time to extract the energy. Okay. Fantastic. We're going to leave one Pikmin Sprout there, and we're going to come back later. This dialogue choice will affect the end of the game. Goodness. Mm hmm Too much talking. Totally agree. Totally agree. Mm-hmm. A bell. We could sell all this stuff, guys. This is indeed a pretty long tutorial, I would say. So, I would say most of it's necessary. Pikmin 4 tutorial? Like, Pokemon tutorial. Pokemon Sun and Moon's way worse than this. I don't know about Pokemon, if you, unless you're saying X, like Pokemon X and Y. I'm not positive. It's been a long time since I've played any of Pokemon X, so. We gotta pick up any signals. Alright, good. We're glad we got the radar working, at least. Dogs do walk on two feet here. True. True, true, true. Nah, some previews in the art channel. Let's go. X and Y is not this bad, but Sun and Moon is. Totally. Coming from our lost rescue officers and even Captain Olimar. Okay, good. Fantastic. Results day one. Yep, we got these two. 
Uh, they're both glowing. I'm trying to see if there's any, like, little details. What are their icons? Obviously, Shepard has the dog icon. I don't know what Colin's icon is, necessarily. Next to, next to his name. Is that just communications officer? Like, is that his badge? Noble Biden. Stone of Advancement. Very funny. And the Path Creator. Okay. The ship is automatically naming the object. Yep. AI. AI is always bad. Don't forget about that, guys. AI is never a good thing. Never. <laughs> a backup power source probably would have been more helpful. Why does Colin kind of look like Elon Musk? Didn't be able to DM again now. Sweet. Thank you, Umbra. I appreciate it. Palmer. Saw the smoke billowing out of the SS Shepherd. Didn't know how things would shake out. There. So you like, yes. There is a lot of dialogue. Properly prepared meal. We don't even get to know what we're eating, right? Emergency rations. We have no idea. Eat and get lots of rest. Okay, yep. Review my missions before heading to bed. Honestly, whatever. All right. Yep, gather more sparklium. We know that. Used a pin. I totally didn't mean to do that. All right. A mission. Pressing A to pin and unpin Whoa. it. Fantastic. Okay. So, like, but this mission's already... Oh, I guess it's actually not done. It's actually not done. Never mind. Because we need to get the rest of the rescue core. So we'll we'll pin the other one. <laughs> Guys, me saying all AI is bad, I was being sarcastic. Also, I don't want to talk about it. I'd rather talk about what were the Pikmin 4 captains eating for their emergency rations. Status report. Okay, yep. Thanks to the efforts of me, yes. Whereabouts are there? Four rescue officers remain unknown. We do not know. Are you the only one who thought there would be town building aspect in the game and you'd have settlements in your base camp and whatnot? No, you are not the only one who thought that. I guarantee you're not the only one on that. Or who thought that. Uh, because... There's, like, I forget who it is. One of the captains says he's going to build, like, settlements or something. Which I was kind of excited to see, like, you know, this area or spot kind of grow. But it, but it never did. Which, I don't know. I don't know. Is it a good or a bad thing? I think it's kind of a neutral thing. Man with the ship, provide direction and guidance from there. Don't worry, it'll be available via the SS Shepherd's wireless communication. Yep, we know that. Don't give a shit. See, this is like this is this is so much extra, right? I I get it. Should we officially put it on pause? See, like this is unnecessary. This is unnecessary. This dialogue right here. We may still find them in our hunt. Why would we give up on it? You know? Keep it in our mission list just in case. Call the thing to a close. Copy that. Fantastic. Awesome. Like, But how much of it is actually necessary? Alright, well, we've uh, obviously done this. We gotta do the thing. Do I just grow... More Pikmin, potentially. I could just do that. Shepard, I have to say. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah, we're going to do the... What's it called? The pup drives, correct? Shepard has nothing to say to us, actually, right now. Um, I will... I guess take out... These 12. It does not grow. I don't know what happens. I don't think I ever actually left uh, 
sprouts in the ground at any point in my playthrough. Can we see the dolphin? Wait, what? What do you mean, here? Are you saying the SS dolphin? Can we see the SS dolphin? You mean the ship? The, the shepherd? The SS shepherd? Cap of 20 Pikmin, there's no reason to leave sprouts? Well, yes, but the reason is for science. Did I not know the SS Dolphin is here? What are you talking about? Are you... Guys, I swear to God. It can't be. If I'm being... Is it? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, yeah, it is back here. You know, low-key, I don't think we knew that, though. Did I forget? I totally looked around. I did forget. Okay, that's fine. That's why I'm playing the game again, guys. SS Dolphin isn't here until we get more castaways, says Sir Boo Berry. It's right there, though. I don't know. It's just upside down. I think that counts as it being there. In my eyes. Just can't access it. We're going to get more access to the area as things start expanding and all the stuff. Colin's logo is definitely the sun. Oh, so his logo is just explore. Okay, that's... I'm going to see if every other captain has their own specific logo. That's a good... You gotta take notes. Can you grow flowers on day one? No. Dolphin in base area prior to... Is that technically... Is it technically day two tomorrow? I didn't even check. Will it be day two? Hold on. Installed some new apps. Damn it, Colin. I don't... Ah, there's so much stuff to get through. There's so much to unpack. Better look at it once I get the survey drone. That's true. 12 a.m.? Crazy. Peace out, Sparrow. Check the mission length for day two. Uh, like in the... The tablet menu thing? Okay, hold on. Um, can you grow flowers on day one? No. No, you cannot. What else were we going to say? Dolphin in base area prior to exploring for the first time. It's the morning of day two. Okay, it is day two, though. Got it. All right, yeah. Mm. So, okay, Shepard's logo is a dog face, rather ochi, enjoying the chill stream. I appreciate that. It's definitely different. It's, it's, it's a different type of stream, but that's okay. You know, we're, we're trying to dissect a lot of these things. All of this is so that I can take notes to write probably a massive analysis, okay? For those of you who are just getting here and being like, Oh, you're still on the tutorial. What are you doing? I thought you were good at Pikmin. It's because I'm doing it on purpose. It's because I have freaking Google Docs up and because I'm reading all the dialogue and looking at everything, trying to see if there's any secrets or, or fun little tidbits that I can include, you know, when the video eventually drops. I, I have my microphone right in front of me now, guys. This is ASMR with Pikmin 4. That's right. Everybody who subscribed to me because of Kaizo Mario Galaxy is like, what the fuck is going on? I thought this guy was a Mario streamer. Why is he playing Pikmin? This game's for babies. <laughs> you guys can't, I'm, uh, you can't see my face, but I'm, 
I'm jimming the camera right now, like in the office. My bad. say explore you thought i played mario superstar baseball i do <laughs> that's true that's true i do that yep i'm one of the old gods is what they call me i'm an old god of mario superstar baseball that's true that's not me just being a, a dude i've had people bow to me okay <laughs> it's, it's really weird but it's happened installed a few new apps onto my tablet thanks gone more than useful when I'm out in the field. See, like, right now I don't hate Colin. Right? Now that we have that sorted out, am I ready to get out there and explore? What does chatting do with my mans? So relieved that you got your SOS signal in time. See, that's nice. In a panic as you tried to escape the spaceship. Oh, wait. In a panic as you tried to escape the spaceship. Oh, okay. So he ejected. It makes sense. Got it. When you're ready to explore, you'll be right here waiting for me. I think we're ready then. You hated Colin ever since you first saw him in the trailer? That's crazy. When is Super Slugger's stream? Never. The game... Trash. That game is the Smash Brawl to Superstar Baseball's Melee, okay? I'll play the story mode. Like, subspace. But otherwise, it ain't right. Sun Speckled Terrace is the first area. Beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs> Mario Wednesday. I get to write down Sun Speckled Terrace. Great. Awesome. Uh, missing rescue officer here. And we know that because of the... They're sending out signals, correct? And we can intercept the signals because we got the SS Shepherd working. I'm just trying to put it all in my brain. Sanji's Sunday. Maybe. I haven't been chefing it up today, though. Yeah, I'm ready for this. That's fine. Oh, wait. I left the Pikmin sprouts in the ground. It doesn't matter. But one of them has a bud. But one of them has a bud. Okay. But you can bud them before day two. Okay. Okay. Pikmin can bud before day two. This is all good. Pikmin can grow into buds and flowers prior to day two. That's the first time it can happen. See, now we figured it out. Science, guys. We scienced it. This is cute. Okay, now, ordinarily, of course the dragon fruit's one of the first things they show. I mean, that's just insulting to me personally. Um, Cecil, what's good? Happy 16 months, let's go. That is that is a lot of love. That is a lot of love coming here to uh, to the good old half channel. Thank you so very much. It's much appreciated. Just watched a video about Ed in the mode theorizing she was the one who made supers so she could make clothes for them. That's kind of fire, but I don't know if they have a, in like an origin story in The Incredibles. All right, Colin, I made it there in one piece. One piece? Hang on, I'll have the captain explain how today's rescue operation will work. Sure, why not? All right, first thing I'd like to say. the This, this day timer thing, it's just, it's all subjective. I think it looks crappy i do not like the way it looks i much much prefer having it just above your head just the little dots with the actual sun like it just it looks like somebody made it in photoshop and was like okay yeah this is fine and like it's such a tiny thing that doesn't matter but like the ones from pikmin 1 and 2 were just phenomenal you know, like, why does it, why is it a gauge? Like, why does it look like the treasure gauge? And, and it could be flipped upside down. If it was flipped upside down, I might even like it better. 
it might look a little weird, but at least it would like resemble the sun a little bit more. Maybe I don't know. I don't know. The hand will reach the rightmost edge at the area's local sunset time. Search for our missing rescue officers during the day. Hustle back to the rescue command post before dark. Don't tell me what to do. I'm on the job. Uh -huh. oh, no. Try to remember that I'm supposed to respond with copy that. This is fun. The dialogue choices are pointless. If, I, if it was flushed with the screen, I'm right. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. That one Pikmin mod. Yahoo, Yahoo, Yahoo. Uh-huh. The onion accompanied the SS Beagle. Yes. According to the voyage log, the onion also serves as a form of transportation for the Pikmin. We knew that. Oh, a lot to do and can take all the help we can get. Put the Pikmin to good use. Yep. We know all of that. Let's get started on day two of our analysis. Fantastic. Now, those of you who don't know, I am a professional Pikmin player. What makes me a professional Pikmin player is because I play Pikmin on the internet for money. That is the only requirement. I don't have to be good at it. <laughs> the only requirement is that I play it for money. All right. Nice little bull borb off the rip. Hold on. Is he just... I, I have to look at his behavior. Because these are things that I would never have noticed. Is it only moving when I sort of move, or is it moving randomly? It looks like it's maybe moving randomly. But it's not moving at... I don't know. I can't tell. I literally can't tell. Is it random, or is it based on my movements? It's using gyro? Explain that to me. Uh, Ochi can't jump yet. Also. What the hell? Didn't I... Oh, did we already do this? Is that what's going on? We don't have charge yet, right? Charge doesn't exist. Holding a toggles gyro aiming. The last bulb orb in your 100% file. That's so cute. Refuse to call it a bread bug? It's not a bread bug. Gotta buy charge from rocks. Yep. Okay, pretty rock. Yes. These are materials. They are very important in Pikmin 4. How do we feel about raw materials? Personally, I think I really like them. I liked the fact that there was one part of the game where I actually, like, ran out of them. And I could not progress. Making notes. Raw materials. These are just things that I'm going to notice that I'm going to want to talk about in the analysis. Raw materials, good versus bad. We'll obviously discuss it more. Way too much after grinding in the demo. You probably grinded way too many of them in the demo, yeah. Uh, crap done waiting for full game? Maybe. See, I didn't grind them in the demo, so I actually ran out at some time in the um, Giant's Hearth. I'm pretty sure. You guys can go back and check. But I, I don't remember. Enemies respawning don't really make the game easier. It, you're right. But enemies don't respawn. So, no need to grind them. Collect what you see and don't buy consumables. And you'll be able to afford all of Russ's permanent equipment. Yeah, I like that they're treated as a currency. Yeah, I, I agree with that. I agree with that. I'm going to have to make like a pro and con list on raw materials. Which I will do, not now, but... 
we got our scientist back, I bet he'd be able to make good use of this. Collect it for now. He'll be excited to have something to work with after we find him. See, Colin, optimistic. I like Colin. At this moment, Colin is better than Shepard 100% of the time. Okay, Colin's your boy. Shepard's your boss. Colin's your coworker who understands that your boss is just full of it. I like Colin. Okay. Buying upgrades and consumables is for customizable difficulty, which, again, we can get to, but... All right, let's do that. Why not? I literally can't tell. It looks like it's just random. It looks like the Bulborb just has a patrol zone, and it's just doing it randomly. I see no rhyme or reason behind how the Bulborb moves. I forget. Do Pikmin go to and from? I don't know. I'm not going to get the uh, the five pellet and whatnot. I... Should I kill this man's? Does he see me? Oh, he does. How funny. He just goes right back to doing his thing. Okay, interesting. There's baseball we can't get quite yet. Not respawning outside of that is important to the design of the game. It kind of depends. I I might agree with that, but we'll have to see. Okay, I will say I don't like how they're like, on day two, Hey, you're finally let loose. Go crazy, and then we find raw materials for the first time. And we get all explanation. And then we just move a little bit and we get some more explanation. It's like, I, 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 there's a lot to the game. It makes sense to do. It's not like Pokemon where all you do is catch and throw things out. Like there's no need for Pokemon to have a tutorial that large. Is it necessary for Pikmin to have a tutorial this meaty? I guess is the question. Because when you think about it, is it because the game is bigger? Open actions and command Ochi to sniff missing comrades. Why would I ever have him do that? See, am I able to not do that, though? I, it's good. It's good that I don't have to do that. Uh, this is straight up water. We cannot go down there. We do know that. That's fine. Do I know where all my Pikmin are? I know where at least 16 of them are. There's... Is that four? Are there really four more over there? What the hell? Oh, okay. I guess so. That's interesting. Wait a minute. Did you see that? Hold on. Hold on. Ready? Hold on. So, okay. I have 16 Pikmin with me. Right? I whistle them, okay? But, but, they don't immediately join my ranks. It's only after they get within a certain distance of me that the number of Pikmin that I have displays as 20. Which I find to be really interesting. It's not immediately upon them being whistled and a part of your party. Because if they're far enough away... 16? I whistle, still 16, still 16, 17, 18, and then I guess I maybe missed these two, maybe they, yeah, 19, 20, okay, yeah, it's just, it's interesting that they do that, all right, uh, I like larger dirt wall, I'm gonna merc my mans probably, it looks like he also has a random patrol area, is he ever gonna see me? This is just a one shot. Yeah, I do love the way his his eyes look when he gets uh, murked. Honestly, what do I think of this specific overworld music? The music may not be something I touch on that heavily because I do have plans to do something with Pikmin music as a whole. 
Do I like the idea that raw materials come from walls? I think that's fantastic. Truly, I think that's a good idea. I think it makes perfect sense. You demolish something, and obviously, you know, it's not just going to completely disappear. I'm going to write that down for me, okay? Music and sound design are awful. I think that is probably a hot take. Passively get raw materials without having to go out of your way. 100%. 100%. There's a cave here too. Crawling with creatures. Rescue officers could have retreated into the cave to get away from them. Yep. All right, we should probably take a quick look inside. Potentially. I would consider it. Uh, nectar eggs. Interesting. No charge yet. This does this in every Pikmin game, so I'm not upset about it. More they grow, the faster they move. We know that. We know that about Nectar. This is all consistent. Hold on. What the heck? Uh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I have a leaf Pikmin in my hand. Okay, great. Fantastic. I'm trying to figure out, right? I have a flower Pikmin, right? Goes on the nectar. Was that my only leaf Pikmin? Wait a minute. Did 12 of my Pikmin, or did, yeah, did 12 of my Pikmin get the nectar? I get to pause it because I don't want the I don't want the day to go on. Leaves get priority for throwing in nectar and flowers for items. That's what I'm looking at. So like look, I have a flower pikmin in my hand. I have to be locked on first, and then it prioritizes the leaf pikmin. Interesting. Each nectar flowers 20 Pikmin? No. Can I can I do this part? See, like, this is maybe a little unintuitive. This looks like... Like, if this was Pikmin 2, or even Pikmin 1, you would absolutely be able to yoss a Pikmin over this. But the invisible wall makes it so that you can't. And in fact, maybe you can. Maybe maybe there's another spot here. Maybe I just do not know. But I feel like, of course, it's designing, you know, it wants you to go all the way around and do the thing and whatever. Dungeon hole's the only thing to do right now. Disagree. Because there's all of this, correct? Keep finding them in the most opportune locations. How in the world is this opportune? That part I don't understand. Can I still toggle between flower and leaf with the D-pad? No. I actually checked. And I don't even know if you can do that in Pikmin 3. Even Pikmin 3 would let you throw that over there. Pikmin 3 might have. Pikmin 3 Deluxe may not have. Is it the middle of the map? I'm putting, I'm doing my notes and stuff. Makes sense. It is a weird use of opportune, for sure. Y'all are being scientists with me right now. We're discussing Pikmin 4. You can't switch to flowers or leaves in 3 or 4. That's what I thought. I'm gonna... Between flowers and leaves. Invisible walls are indicative of poor design. I low-key agree. 
like low key agree. I understand sometimes, but right now I'm like, yeah, I should just be able to yoss one over the wall. It's situational. This is the main thing. I'm going to imagine the buds are also prioritized uh, for the nectar. So, like, okay, because uh, I think of a, of a situation, right? I'm going to get past this, this blow hog here because we've been obviously in this little... I'm just typing and all of that. Create a base here. Any Dandori master would tell you it's the most efficient way forward. Shepard, you're not even here. Okay, okay. So, so, another thing, too. Another thing. The game specifically tells you that these stone circles are designed for your base. And you activate a base, like, in the beginning. Or whatever, like in your base area, whatever, right? Why are they kind of doing it again? You can throw yellow pigment over certain invisible walls, but it's situational. Totally. We do not have charge. I will say that much. I'll just yoss this. And we're unable. Only oh, Ochi's gonna get destroyed. Nope, don't want Ochi to do that either. Do I like that Ochi is a part of my team? Nah. I'm not sure how I feel about it. I don't even think I like it very much. Like, like, the way that Ochi controls and sends and all of that. I'm gonna move it now, obviously. Uh, my Pikmin do indeed come with me. We knew that. That's totally fine. More raw materials. I'm pretty sure these work like bridge pieces, like they will just in fact they'll do that, and then they'll run right back to get the rest of them. Okay, yep. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. Let Ochi burn so that Rust can invent the flyer guard when I get him. If I get Ochi to walk into water as soon as possible, I'll get swimming with him sooner. Ochi can't swim. Okay, press B to call him to shore. I will. What if I don't dunk? He'll just come out anyway. I didn't hit B. I didn't do anything. What if I... What if I try to get him to just... What happens to Ochi? Oh, he just walks out of the pond. Okay, that's... Not threatening at all. Is there a way for us to get... Ochi to drown? Doesn't seem like it prioritizes anything in particular um, when targeting flowers. They drown Ochi ASAP for this reason. Or wait until like day 10. Wait, what's what? I'm trying to figure out what the hell you guys are even talking about. So, like, how does that unlock swimming sooner? Does does it unlock Shepard? Like, giving us the option to use our pup drives to unlock swimming? Like, I kind of forget how Ochi learns how to swim. Again, which is why we're doing this another time. I will let Ochi get burnt. screen for a little bit. 
two days after drowning scene. Shepard teaches swimming without me. She does it on an earlier day if I drown him. Okay. Automatically when you get to the serene shores, drowning him triggers the ability at the start of the day. I'm gonna make a note for myself to Google how the fuck that works. Google Ochi. Yeah, Google when Ochi learns how to swim. And when Ochi gets the flare. It's okay, you guys are fine. It's all good. Or when Ochi maybe gets access there. It didn't auto unlock it on Serene Shores. Interesting, interesting. Okay. Ochi's tail's burning, yes, we we know. Put it out with B. Yeah, this is fine. Does Ochi take chip damage? Nope, it automatically goes out on its own. I didn't whistle Ochi at all. I'm gonna be a bad owner. Beautiful. And that is... What the fuck is this? What is this? A bead? It's a big bead. It's not a... The dog? Dog? Treat? Is it squishy? Like, you could stick, like, peanut butter in there and have a dog try to attack it, maybe. A wooden bead? Well, it's not a pool ball. There's no number, and it has a giant hole in it, for sure. That's a kendama, right? It's the top of a kendama? Weird toy thing? That's what it's called, I believe. We got 20 out of 20. Um, interesting, interesting, interesting. Have we found electricity anywhere? I know we can do this, and in fact, I'll do this right now. Well, we're gonna have to do a cutscene about it. Which is something under construction. Yup. If it was finished. Wait a minute, can I not? The fuck? Oh, we need rust. Do we need rust to do any type of construction? I don't know if I like that. I just noticed you looking at the radar map just now. Why don't I tell you about a handy little function? No, I went to the pause menu to get away from the tutorial. Ochi's growth is also locked behind him. Okay, interesting. You look like you're trying to read a map. Would you like some help? No. Colin, no. Go away, Colin. I'm just going to put shot guard. I don't know what it's called, but okay. I'm going to Google that. Uh, interesting note. Unable to build bridges until... Rescue Russ. Ochi. One rescue to grow and first rescue is always Russ. Got it. Yep. Ochi automatically puts himself out. Out on fire. Good enough. When he's on fire. In parentheses. Uh, radar map. Yep. Tell you about a handy little function. Sure, Colin. I don't have an option. So, sure. Discovered caves and cleared areas with down or uno reverse. Interesting. If I go to that spot, the symbol disappears. It's a very useful way to keep track of my objectives. I'm pretty sure I may have lost a Pikmin behind one of these symbols at one point. I'm pretty sure. 
All right, that's all he wanted to tell me, correct? Beautiful, okay, whatever. Can't do that yet. We gotta go in the cave with the Ice Pikmin. Uh, I might as well do that now, although time still passes in the cave. That's the only thing that I maybe am not so keen on, which, good change, bad change? I think good change. But we will be spending a lot of time in the cave, most likely. We already went up here. We got the thing that was up here. The final boss is right there. You guys remember when the bench was going to be the final boss? I remember. Auto lock is certainly a way that... <laughs> certainly something, isn't it? Is this a flower like over here? I forget what's over here. No. Remember, I'm just... I'm not playing for speed at all. Female shear grubs, and then we... Oh, we can actually. I thought we were going to need yellows for that in particular. Um, I find that interesting. We can get over that way. There's obviously the flower lick over that way. You forget how small Ochi is on day one? Yeah, I kind of did too. I kind of did as well. Have I lost track of any Pikmin? No, Shepard. Everything's fine. They're all right here. I've done this before. And we're going to go... Yeah, we now we're going to go into the cave. Instead of doing the clipboard. If it'll let me, I might actually not make it. We'll see. Because I'm not allowed to go in the cave at the very end of the day, right? There might be a voyage log entry related to these coordinates. Yep, here it is. So they pull up the voyage logs based on the coordinates? That's kind of weird. Only at the countdown? Uh, okay. I entered a cave to look for the SS Dolphin parts and found a creature that defies the logic of space. It further surprised me by expelling frigid cold air. Defies the logic of space. Imagine if there were Pikmin that had been acclimatized, yep, <laughs> to that cold air. This planet's ecosystem is full of mysteries. Thank you, Captain Ollie. Last Frost Cavern. It's like geocaching? <laughs> yeah, that's what I was thinking. Certainly is thorough. I'm going to be way more thorough than Alamar is. Uh-huh, I should take Pikmin with me. Yep, genius. All right. Beagle can bring the Pikmin so I can enter the cave without stopping by the base first. That's really helpful. Okay, that's another little gameplay thing. Sub-level one. Obviously, we only have red Pikmin right now. Suggested types. Okay. It's just, it's going to be red and ice, obviously, but we get the ice Pikmin in here, so that's a whole other thing. The other suggested type, I believe, to be to be ice. Yes. You don't like the how the new Pikmin in this game feel more like video game items, weapons, than actual Pikmin. We'll chat about ice Pikmin and um and certainly glow pikmin eventually i literally always call them ghost pikmin it's just how i how i exist you know i always call them ghost pikmin um
This is fun. I'm having a good time. I'm having a great time, actually, kind of dissecting all of this. Uh, obviously, I'm not playing for speed. Those of you who've been here long enough, obviously, you know that. <laughs> um, because I'm typing and writing notes and all types of nonsense as well. Um, okay. When entering a cave, it basically, it lets you teleport the Pikmin types to you automatically. So it's right now it's suggesting, it's suggesting 20 reds. We can only have a max of 20 Pikmin though. I forget. Does that mean we have to go in with less than 20 in order for the ice Pikmin to even show up? I feel like that's not how it works at all. I can go over in the dungeon. Which I find to be interesting. That's what I thought. I thought Wild Pikmin exceeded the cap. But then, as soon as we get out of the dungeon, I guess maybe we'll find out. I'll go in with 20. We'll do maybe a little bit of testing. Out. I find that to be odd. Pikmin only stops spawning once you hit 100, which makes perfect sense. It makes perfect sense, but... The idea of the Flarlick, isn't it to make it so that you can only control a certain number of them? But that's only in the overworld. Picked up a castaway scent. Has to be one of our missing rescue officers. Time to get them back to safety. I will consider it. I'm going to be taking you know, screenshots and nonsense. Okay, we got nice little three female shear grubs. Difficulty ensues, of course. All y'all take that back. Do we have the cutscene on like the, hey, what are you doing? And here we go. Okay. Do we get anything from their bodies? One sparkly. Yeah, fantastic. Yep. Not treasure. Mm hmm It does contain sparkly. Florlic only applies in the overworld, which I find to be strange. They give you the cap and Florlic restriction, so you gradually unlock the ability to get a full party instead of grinding up a massive army day two. Yeah, but how do we feel about that type of game design? Because in Pikmin 1... You could simply, with your 28 red Pikmin, probably 28, uh, you could then just go to 100. Basically, before half the day has passed. You could be at exactly 100, if you want. Yeah, I mean, a little, every little bit helps, I guess. Raw materials never hurt anybody. It's a nice little compass. I like that. Usually all the vases break in a row when Ochi only rushes into one. I'm going to send Ochi precisely on this corner vase. I looked at the camera. I'm such a streamer. The camera's fucking off. <laughs> I'm so streamer pilt, guys. I'm doing a review. My my apologies. My apologies. And this automatically uh, prioritizes leaf Pikmin, which I find to be very cool. Leafs or buds. Right. I don't know if the cussing happens right now, but... Oh, not what I wanted to do. I know I can whistle them and, you know, whatnot, but I'm trying to get a good, nice little shot on this, you know? Which way do we want this to be facing? I think this is, this is good. Let's go over here. Oh! Those pigments were nowhere near us. 
awesome. What? Is the poor thing frozen? Try the whistle to see if it'll respond. If it stays in the ice, does it die? I forget. Loki, I forget. Also, naturally, I will whistle these. Oh, wait, what? Oh, do I have to defeat my mans? I forget. There we go. And they do the freaking 2160. Absolutely nuts. They never die. Freeze Ochi if I haven't. Oh, I didn't. I didn't even think about it. Pikmin 3 is the only game of the OG3 that isn't balanced around having 100 in the first few days. Uh, yeah, there's some things to say about Ultra Spicy, but that's not why we're here. I always thought of Pikmin as plant-like creatures, so I never dreamed I'd come across an ice variant. Ice Pikmin can use their icy bodies to freeze water and creatures, but they also float like ice in the water. Don't spray them with water, though. They really don't like it. See, like, that... All Pikmin don't like it. I can replay caves if I 100% uh, the enemies respawn, so I can freeze Ochi then. Yes. Bodies are made of ice. Mm, for the most part. Or maybe entirely. Maybe none of it makes any freaking sense. I don't know. This will tell me. Right now, it is indeed telling me. Is my squad bigger than normal? Oh, I see. When you're underground, you can have a larger squad because the wild Pikmin you find will join you. Again, only the second time I've played. I remember that vaguely. Because I know there's wild Pikmin. But I forgot that... So what happens when we get into the overworld then? Do they just go... Oh, no, I remember. Duh. Oh, never mind. Never mind. I know exactly what happens. I'm just being a moron. We'll take that. We'll take this. Um, how do we feel about this particular sub level? Schmack, schmack, schmack. Uh-oh. Oh, males. Uh-oh. I like that there's some male shear grubs in the mix. I'll be honest. Is this only a one floor cave though? Oh. I don't know why I thought this was two floors. I'm gonna obviously get everything I can. I thought it was two floors. Yeah, we'll let the ice pick do that thing and get everybody else back. Oh, nope, not you, buddy. Oh, freaking, I whistled Ochi back. What are you doing? Bro? There you go. I literally whistled him back. I don't know what's going on. First cave had two? No, the first cave only had one. And there's more ice Pikmin here. Plus the Flarlick. I like that this is the cave that introduces you to the Flarlick. I think it's really cool that they give you... They introduce you to not only ice Pikmin, but also uh, male shear grubs and the concept of Flarlick. And the Hydro Jellies. A lot. And the uh, Icy Blowhogs, too, actually. I'm gonna make some notes about the last Frost Cavern. Forgive me for a moment. I don't exactly remember what the Icy Blowhog is, uh, is called. This is the third cave you did in your 100% run? That's pretty funny. It could have stood to be two levels long. I agree. Whistling once while Ochi or Pikmin are performing a task freezes them in place. Oh my god, I totally forgot. The double whistle is one of my least favorite things. Period. I know it's a Pikmin 3 Deluxe thing. And I know, I know all about. It's just Icy Blowhog? Okay. Hydro Jelly. 
Flarlick. Like, there's a lot of concepts introduced in this floor. Plus ice Pikmin. There's a lot of stuff. You're a double whistle enjoyer. It's okay. It's a Flarlick. Uh, that's not a new Pikmin. Does it look like it's sputtering? It does. It's definitely struggling. Pretty pale for an onion. You know what's weird is that the Pikmin aren't moving at all. Should we take it with us? Yeah, I would say that's probably a good idea. Let's 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 consider it. it. Really should be an option in the menu. It's actually one of the main reasons that I much prefer Pikmin 1 and 2. I'm pretty sure. And then okay, we got we'll, we'll get Russ real quick. We know this is Russ. This is uh, and and the concept of castaways. Like, the concept of icy blowhogs and male shear grubs, those aren't really concepts, and a hydro jelly is just a hazard, but Flarlick, Ice Pikmin, and Castaways are three things that they introduce all in this single sublevel, which I find to be, like, really cool. Well, Russ, yeah, it's re rescue, whatever you want to call it. It's a castaway, it's a, you know, I'm pretty sure this is Russ, correct? I'm gonna try to fall. Right? Correct? Am I? Most of the new concepts. That's what I'm saying. You think of Green Day? See, I think of, uh, Zach Brown Band. Pour me another one. Make it a double rum. We're gonna have some fun tonight. <laughs> gonna be a castaway. Gonna let the sun shine in. <laughs> Y'all don't... S my webcam's off, my chat's off, my notifications are off. Y'all are just literally looking at goddamn Pikmin 4, aren't you? This is just Pikmin 4. This is crazy. Compare it with the un other onion. Sure. Whatever. Sounds good. We'll let them do that. I'm gonna use the. Uh, I'm gonna get the ice pikmin all flowered. We need the other drops of nectar. Hey guys, look. When I play pikmin slowly, I actually get the nectar. Isn't that crazy? You like how castaways have a predetermined unlock order, so you won't miss important NPCs. Did a no OG run, and you can't do this cave, but you still get Russ. You can't do this cave because uh, you can't break the pots? Is that why? Oh, whoa! Oh, whoa! <laughs> Same. Russ is also from Gaia, and his uh, icon is a wrench with some materials. Remember Pikmin 2.16? Yes, I finished editing it like a week ago. So, yes, I remember Pikmin 2.16. <laughs> it also went up on the channel three days ago. So, yeah, I remember it. <laughs> okay. He's from a planet named after the Mother of Earth. So far, everybody is from Gaia except for us. We're from Carrot. Uh, I can also immediately re-enter the cave if day isn't over to grind ice Pikmin. True. True, true, true. But the day might be over. Because I've spent a lot of time just vibing, you know. Which is fine. We're not rushing or whatever. This is all for me to understand my feelings about Pikmin 4. Put on. Thank the stars, he's alright. Okay, scientist in charge of repairs and upgrades for our spacesuits and the SS Shepard. So in charge, whatever. I'll write that down, fuck it. <laughs> Upgrades for the spacesuits and the shepherd. You thought the rescue team's planet was called Yeah! Yeah, yeah, yeah! Same. 
I get it. I get it. Okay, great. He's a talented scientist. Sounds fantastic. Thank you, Colin, for... See, Colin's not being mean. He called Russ talented. Am I all done down here? If so, I can make my way to the exit. Do I need the Pikmin with me? They probably come with me if they're at the ship. You know what? Let's find out. I, I imagine. I'm like 95-ish percent certain that they'll come with me. I'm not even going to look at you people. Currently outside, my squad will come with me. There we go. Yeah. yeah. Return to the surface. Open the map. You can tell it's 100%. Nope, it's 100%. No, we, I knew that. All right, we got one rescue done. Fantastic. And we got the Director of Destiny, Refreshing Goo, and 11 Sparklium from Creatures. We've done it. 100%. Plus a Flarlick. I don't know how many Flarlicks there are total. Somebody knows, because obviously you can collect whatever amount of them. Uh... I could literally check my other save file. That'd be fine, too, because I finished the game. But I, again, it's just been months, and I don't have it memorized. Because I'm not 10 anymore. When I was 10, I memorized things about Pikmin. Now that I'm 26, I don't. And I have to replay it to like be like, Oh, yeah, that's a thing. I forgot about that. Right, right, right. You're sure you synchronized my clock, but something is off. Difference. It looks as if about a sixth as much time passed on the surface. As I spent underground. One sixth of time passes. How do we feel about that? How do we feel about the fact that time actually passes underground, unlike Pikmin 2? The guy looks like Egad. That's fine. Much time as you need. Maybe not as much time as we need. It makes no sense, but who cares? <laughs> Interesting. It's divisive, I see. You prefer Pick 2's approach of just not pointing it out. Makes days not completely obsolete. As soon as you go in. I kind of agree. At worst, leave the save at the end of the day. Countdown start. Yes, not needed. You don't know if it even boots me with a countdown underground. I don't believe it does. Yeah, time can't run out in caves. That's what I think. It's definitely not a huge deal, but I do remember there being some moments where I would, like, go into a cave and then be like, oh, uh, you know, oh, the day's over now. I can't, I can't do anything, so. Voyage log entry. There's the Flarlick. Does our onion get fatter? Yeah, I would say that. I would say so. I would say so. All right. What are, what was I calling this? Is it still is it just Flarlick? I feel like I was calling it Flarelick when I first started playing. I can't remember, but uh, yeah, it increases the number of Pikmin by ten. We knew that. I'm gonna write it down anyway for consistency for myself. Were you the only one who took four months to realize Pikmin 4 won game of the year? I don't think it did. I think you're wrong about that. I, don't, I think something else won game of the year. Missed opportunity for 200 Pikmin limit. Oh, Colossal Caverns is calling. The caverns are calling. Oh, on, on auto not throw. When you throw Pikmin on something, you get the correct amount. The game stops you for a couple seconds instead of letting you go over. Personally, Rock Eaters Anonymous, and I'm glad you asked because I've noticed it. 
I dislike it. Maybe it's because I'm two Pikmin 1 and two pilled. And Pikmin 3 pilled, I guess. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Big help when I'm exploring. Try taking out more Pikmin. I will do that. That's fine. Yep, fine. I got... Oh, no, I'm putting him back. I'm being dumb. Woo. Eddie! Look at the time. Uh-oh. Important part of any rescue mission is making sure I make my way back to the base before it gets dark. We need that. Is it sunset, no. though? Mm hmm Safe as long as they make it back to this area around the base. We need okay. that. Uh-huh. More aggressive at night. There are night missions. We do need this, too. I don't know when my captain ever sleeps, quite frankly. Um, but now that we have Russ, we still can't build this. We have to wait till we actually, like, have a day pass. And that's 30. Forgot about that. Do people just grind 30 ice Pikmin and then do this part? That's probably exactly what happens. Six seconds with the end of the day. Yeah, we'll check. We'll buy it. It's fine. We'll buy it. This is nice. Also, the Pikmin 3 AI struggling to grab a moving item carried over, and that pisses you off. Totally agree. We'll see how the Pikmin AI kind of shakes out. The last Frost Cavern was only one floor. Mm -hmm. It's the end of day two. Baldur's Gate 1. Yeah, it might have gotten like best maybe strategy game, I think. It did win something, but it didn't win game of the year. Three Deluxe is buggier than vanilla, to be fair. Yeah, it is. It's kind of whack. But it is. We've gotten three rescues so far. Uh, what's that first one called? Aspiration Ritual Ball and the Lesser Mock Bottom, which is the same uh, name as from Pikmin 3. And 80 raw materials. That's a lot. Mm -hmm. I had no doubts the emergency escape system you developed would function perfectly. Motherfucker, it did not function perfectly. We saved your life. Oh, it would have been helpful if you showed the rest of us how to actually use it. Yep. Alright. These are the little bits of dialogue that I hardly read. I just skipped through to the gameplay my first playthrough. Can you tell us if you came across any rocks <laughs> like this? <laughs> it's kind of funny. Oh, Colin, Colin, Colin. Classic Colin. Classic Colin. But um, tss. Uh, I already completed very thorough research on this material. What the hell? You've been unconscious in a cave. How did you... Whatever. Rocks become soft and malleable and can be shaped into any form I desire. You'll admit you genuinely like these guys way better than the Copiates. I think I agree. Although it is messed up that the Copiates weren't the three, um, like how there's, there's like Alf's brother or something, and then Don Bergman, and then Nell. Like, there could have, it probably could have just been the Copiates, probably, right? It probably could have been, right? But no, actually, then it wouldn't have. No, I don't know. I don't know. There's a way to incorporate them. I don't know. Uh, base properties can even change when exposed to different stimuli. Okay, raw material. <laughs> cool. Oh. Cool doesn't even begin to describe it. Uh huh. Biomass. Interesting.
What's funny is that internally they're called Alf, Brittany, and Charlie. Wait, really? Oh, that's so messed up. See, like, that makes me feel bad. As much as I am okay with the Pikmin 3 captains, like, I don't hate them, but I don't love them. I like Charlie the most easily. It's messed up. I'm gonna, see, that, that I need to write down. I'm gonna write that down. Brittany, Charlie, and Alf were intended to be... No. Is it Yorkie? It's York, right? And Don Bergman. Don Bergman deserves to be his own dude, though. He's got a last name. It's Fire. Uh-oh. Oh, I just pulled out my headphone cord. Uh-oh. Hold on. Oh, God. It's crazy having this type of audio quality with no webcam, isn't it? You can't even see me get closer to my microphone. I'm doing, like, a whole ASMR bit. You guys don't even... No webcam. So weird. <laughs> so weird to me. This is like the Animal Crossing New Horizons days. This is this is the Pokemon Coliseum days, guys. This is like this is old half on YouTube. I'm telling you. I'm like, you physically can't get to my speaker. There we go. So we're behind my TV, and I had to move everything to set this back up. Ugh. You can imagine my expressions. <laughs> in your head that's awesome that's fucking sweet actually all right upgrading 3d printers so we can put this miracle material to use as soon as i bring it to the ss beagle so wait you're telling me okay raw materials can 3d print anything including like bomb rocks 3d printing i'm literally i'm putting it in quotation marks 3d print that's actually nuts. It will be crucial to your work in the lab and any other building needs... Oh, okay. Whoa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Material scientist would be key to our success. See, this is garbage. Russ is not a material scientist. I mean, he, he is, obviously, because he's doing all this stuff, but it, he just said that he's here to fix the SS Shepard. And for the spacesuits. He's not, quote-unquote, a material scientist. I... It's fine. It's fine. It's just extra dialogue for the sake of dialogue, you know? Russ still needs components, so you can't spam buying rocks and such. I kind of forget. They have insane space travel. I agree. I agree. Secure energy source. No, no, no. I want to rescue the damned energy. Yeah, that's what I want to do. You'd probably write software, too. I wish I knew how to code. Maybe one day I'll get my act together. Meh. Maybe. You know what's crazy? I decided we were going to be green when we're clearly in our blue arc. I just kind of thought about that. Technically, when we first played through Pikmin 4, we were in our green arc, though, so. Did he go through a growth spurt overnight? Yeah, no, it's not just you. This dog is freaking massive. And does this always happens on day three, correct? Day three, Ochi gets swole. Is what I'm putting in my notes for my very serious analysis i am i am such an anomaly dude sometimes so like have you guys heard of the youtuber john stone it's after first rescue oh okay so it can happen later then it's after first rescue and first rescue is always rust though I'm motioning with my hand. You guys can't see me. <laughs> so dumb. <laughs> this is like, this is all because I want good footage. This is like, yes, I could install a plugin that lets me separate all of the sources, but that just becomes a mess in editing. And straight up, it was going to be a mess anyway. So I figured that it would just be easier for me to just not have any of that on, you know?
He used to do things for content, now it's for the footage. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Once a streamer, always a streamer. I'm having a lot of trouble. Quite typical for his breed. It's a sign that he's now fully grown and qualified for more rigorous activity. <laughs> I don't know why that's so funny to me. Yay! Woohoo! Hopefully my personality is shining through. <laughs> Do I think Hey Pikmin should come to the Switch or shouldn't? I think it should, but it shouldn't be $60 worth. It's a good question, Courtney. They appear to be letting their guard down now that Ochi's come into his own. Was their guard up before? This doesn't make any sense at all to me. I know it's so they can say, yeah, they're going to hold on to his butt, which it doesn't make sense how he can hold 100 Pikmin on his butt at this size anyway, but you know. Now they ride Doggo, yes. A hundred purples. It's ridiculous. It's absolutely insane that Ochi's able to carry that many Pikmin. It is it is absurd. Build up his pup drive. Okay, yep. New skills that'll be useful for everyday rescue operations. And the pup drive, correct me if I'm wrong, guys, only gets unlocked once we get Russ. Or is it after we complete day two, period? It must be after we get Russ. Russ, our first rescue must be the gate. And now the freaking, everything's broken open. After Russ. Beautiful. Okay. What am I going to do with the Pikmin tier list? Oh, like the, like the Pikmin, like. The Pikmin Pikmin? Like the little dudes? Or like other types of Pikmin tier lists? I have two ideas for Pikmin tier lists. Two of them. Okay. Well, technically three. I have three ideas. But I don't think I want to update the Pikmin type tier list. Because, like, it's only one more game. Like, my opinion's still the same about the rest of that video. You know what I mean? It just doesn't feel worth it to me to redo that one. New stuff, maybe. But I'm not, like, a content... I mean, I am a content guy, but like, you know, I try to put out things with it. It's a little more all encompassing. Like, yeah, there's a slight update. I'm not the, I'm not ESAM. Okay. I have no beef with ESAM, but like if you guys follow competitive smash at all, I know we're just looking at Ochi doing his thing and whatever, but ESAM would put out like a new smash ultimate tier list patch, blah, 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 blah. And he made like fucking 30 of them. It's like, it's like, how much could possibly change between one patch that it warrants an entirely new tier list? Now, yes, this is a fourth game. It does add a substantial amount to the Pikmin series. But, like... Eh. It's like nine more Pikmin to add on there. That's more than the first two games combined. You're kind of right. You're kind of right. But also, none of the rest of it would change. And also, it was the first three games. Might be the newest Pikmin game for another decade. That's true, too. That's true, too. All right, day three, Ochi gets swole. It's the note that I put. And he can learn new skills. Awesome. Uh, Ochi's ready to, uh, as ever to fill up that pup drive. Sorry. I'm chatting with you people. I'm doing the streamer thing, even though it's... It's a very odd stream. It's a different type of stream. You guys gotta understand. One I'm not used to. I now call the strategy meeting to order. See, I don't give a shit about any of this. This, I don't care about. This is, this is extra. Improvements to the SS Beagle. Fine. Great. Now is the ability to transform any raw material into all-purpose clay. Awesome. Easily build on location. I mean, I like that functionality. But is it worth explaining it right this second? Bring you raw material and you'll be able to whip up exciting new gear and items for you in the lab. A little disturbed by Ochi at first, but he's actually cute. 
I could add the Hay Pikmin types if I wanted. Yeah, but I didn't play enough of Hay Pikmin. Would I rather they explain it all in the field? You know, I was thinking about that. But they'll explain it again as soon as you see a bridge. <laughs> do they? I hope they don't. If they do, I'll be mad as hell. But, but I don't doubt it. Um, I think I'd rather just have them explain it. I, so, like, they already explained that the raw material can be changed and, like, molded into anything. But now it specifically says, oh, it can be molded into clay. I don't know. Maybe it's because I'm 26 and I have, th you know, two college degrees. Maybe it's not because I am a, a drooling seven-year-old. Maybe I get it, you know. Maybe I'm biased. It's not my fault. I'm older. I've played video games. I know how things work. But also... I don't know. I feel like when you're younger, like, it wasn't as handholdy. They didn't have as much of this. Yep. Rescue officers, raw material, treasure, yada yada. Come talk to you later when you have a minute. Ochi's training. Beautiful. They explained that last night, not this morning. Explained. What are you talking about? Ah, I'm gonna pick these dudes. Also, it's crazy that... Okay, it's now a whole new day. Why? Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. It has been a whole day. How come this didn't bloom? They don't bloom overnight anymore? They bloom based on how long you're physically there, not by in-game time. Oh, so you're saying if I stay in this base area, then these will bloom? But like, if I start day three, this growth cycle freezes? That's whack. It doesn't matter frankly. It's not important, but it's whack. Is there any reason to do this? Absolutely not. Am I just chilling? Yeah. Yeah, I'm just chilling. This compensate with more nectar. I just want to see one of the- I want to see one of these become a bud or a flower. I want to see it happen with my own two eyeballs. That you don't see, because I don't have my webcam on. Because this is all for footage. Because if you're watching a X hour analysis on Pikmin 4, do you really want to look at my face the entire time, guys? Do you really? I know you're going to say yes, because you're either my viewers or you want to gas me up. But you don't. I know you don't. It's okay. Oh! I fucking missed it! <laughs> I'm doing the streamer thing. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm having trouble. I'm having trouble deciding between if I want this to be a... This will not be highlights. This will not be a supercut. This will... This is strictly footage for an analysis. And it just so happens that it's streamer-pilled. Allow me to introduce yourself again. Fuck you. I'm so mad now. Why are you introducing yourself again? You, it's been 10 minutes. Yeah, we, God dang, God dang. Visit the lab, sure. Exchange for raw material, yes. Fantastic. May run out of components from time to time. If that happens, just visit the lab the next day after you are stopped. Acquire all gear from the lab is indeed a side mission. We know that. I find that to be interesting. Survey drone. Uh, I definitely want the charge horn. Wait, I thought that we didn't unlock this until Ochi got frozen. Am I making that up? Or is it just the hazards that we've seen? 
Do I prefer Pikmin 3 or 4's ending? Low-key, do I even remember Pikmin 4? I mean, like, yeah, obviously the Sire Hound and they blast off into the, you know, I, I remember that part, but like... Suit unlocks are determined by Sparklium. Did I unlock the player's ability to pick things up my uh, themselves in my main save? Yes. No, I 100%ed my, uh, my only other file. So, yeah, I got the uh, extra hand or whatever it's called. And I got the the swarm thing, the swarm trumpet, whatever whatever they were called, you know. Scorch guards are mandatory for Area 4. Are they? What is Area... Area 4 is the hero's hideaway. All shop unlocks are determined by Sparklium. What? Is it determined by the, the amount of Sparklium that I have? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, right, right. Okay, that makes perfect sense. The Burner Cave. I totally forgot. I mean, like, I remembered that that cave existed, but I was like, wait. I was like, it won't let me go into Area 4 without the Flare Guard? Like, that doesn't sound right. But now I'm understanding. I'm only going to get the Charge Horn. I'm not going to get any of the rest of the stuff. I'm going to linger on the screen just for a tad. I want to keep my uh, other materials. Scrummy Bone Emergency Kit. Bleh. Forget that. <laughs> they tell you that they unlock new ones. See, all of this is stuff that I missed because I was just mashing through dialogue the first time. The Charge Horn's the only one that I'm like, yeah, it's kind of really important. Shouldn't the same suit upgrade that protects you from the heat also protect you from the cold? Not necessarily. Yeah, it's, that's the ADHD brain. I don't know. Uh... It was locked behind a grate, so I couldn't enter with Ochi. I do think Ochi makes this uh, engulf castle kind of worse. But we'll get to the engulf castle, and we'll chat about the Water Wraith when we get there. Um, this is going to be a large, large analysis. Pretty long series. Keep pressing X, entire squad charges... Attacks or transporting objects. You could even call it Dandori Dynamite. <laughs> I'm streamer pill. Leave me alone. What do you want? What do you want? I'm streamer pill. I'm sorry. I haven't streamed in <laughs> like a month. But I'm so streamer pill. Alright. Let's get your training started. Let's see what you have to offer us after day OG has five out of question mark skills, which I find to be interesting. Train and learn new skills without a problem. Skills, when to learn them, depends on the rescue approach I want to take. Go to buff patch, go to carry everything, go to chomp path, taking your creatures is your priority, keep proper indoor practices in mind. See, like, all of this is, like, a little pointless. Like, I get it. Um... The first thing I did is I got command level three in the last playthrough. Dig is already learned. We already know that, which I find to be kind of interesting. There's buff, which lets us carry more stuff. The rush, which is the energy charging time. Uh, and then heal, which is like kind of a little bit pointless. It has been a month. I've been doing a lot of editing. Mostly on, again, Kaizo Galaxy. Thank you all for the support on that video. That shit has popped the hell off. Kaizo, guys, you gotta understand. Kaizo Galaxy... And I can take a second. I will go right back. But Kaizo Galaxy has popped off. It is exactly the reception that I wanted from that video. I told you. I, and only because I've been sipping a little bit of uh, deep eddies, don't Google that, that I'm going to say, hell yeah, 
You have no idea how hard I worked on that video. You guys have no idea. I like ruined not my health, but like <laughs> shit was unreal. It was and and it's gotten the reception that I wanted it to. So I'm I'm beyond happy with Kaizo Galaxy. I mean like 150k views in like almost 2 weeks is ridiculous. Is ridiculous. Like that's doing like real YouTuber numbers. You know what I'm saying? Like not moist critical numbers, but like you know. But it's doing like big YouTuber numbers. Not like massive YouTuber numbers, but like big YouTuber numbers. So I'm happy about that. You know what I'm saying? How does it feel to finally be real? It feels sweet. Although there are a lot of comments. When are you going to finish 100%? And I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, I don't think I want to do it. <laughs> but we're playing Pikmin 4 right now. Uh, I'm not going to get anything. I don't I don't want any of these upgrades. I'm, I don't, don't care about any of that. I'm sorry. If I'm talk forever, I'm just going to be here literally forever. Did the lab. Let's go. Let's go exploring. Yeah, let's go back. Let's 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 start this up. My bad. My bad. The beginning of the game certainly does have a lot of dialogue. Matt, you're off. 1.34 a.m. An Englishman, I see. Remember Empress Bullblacks in Cavern for a King? Yeah, that was less than a year ago for me. Oh, yeah, I remember that. It was egregious. But, yeah, I remember it. That was the only t or the Not the only time I used Rewind, but... One of the two times I used Rewind. I'm gonna get a tutorial on landing again? Dude, that's crazy! See, that's insane to me, because, like... We just had a shit ton of tutorial. Is it gonna say the Ice Pikmin, or is it gonna talk about the bridge? It's gonna talk about the bridge, isn't it? Ochi's grown a bit. Drill him on his jump skill. Okay, so, but it's about something different, though. Be able to move around more easily now, even with you and the Pikmin on board. See, like, we did not know this previously, so this is fine. If it was about the bridge, I'd be tight. Yeah, we know that. Let's get it started hot. Let's go get it started in here. Ten ice Pikmin. Uh, I guess 20, 20 reds. Why not? I see the little, little log balls. I know how to ride Ochi. I've done this whole whole nonsense. It really does give you another freaking tutorial. It sh it tells you once. That the game can 3D print materials. It tells you a second time that the game can 3D print clay. And then it tells you a third time, after showing you the image of what the clay looks like, it says, oh, maybe we can do this. We know. It tells me three times. This is the second time it told us this within like 10 minutes. That's, I'm, I'm writing that down. That's awful. That's awful. Egregious tutorial, specifically on this bridge part. It's, that's egregious. That's horrible. You can skip the second time if you don't go to your bridge uh, before Russ. No, 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 no. We didn't. We did go near a bridge before Russ. I'm talking about like before day three even happened. We had two separate times where he was like, oh, actually, raw materials can be used for this, that, and the other thing. Would it have killed him to say, press X to jump with a single line of text in real time? No, it would not have killed him. This is the third, and you could have missed a second. Well, the second... Mm, really? I... No, all of it was required. I don't know. Drag my pick with uh, an Ochi to start building. Okay. Well, yes, we know this. But... You guys will do your thing. Build your bridges. 
we could chat about how this works real quick. This is what this is for, right? This is the, the Pikmin 3 mindset of Pikmin are not finished with tasks. So they will indeed go from the bridge and they will go just directly back to the ship. Get some more raw materials and go right back and do the thing. Now, why is this one so much slower than the rest of them? I mean, it beats me. But I do like how this bridge looks. It looks very, um, cookie-like. Like, they say it's clay. Do I like it more or less than the Pikmin 3 bridges? Low-key, I like it less. Low key, I think I like the I like the uh, the tiles and the, the the shards more. I think I like the sound design a little bit better on it too. Yeah, there's like really not a lot there. I want to see what it looks like when it comes down. Again, this is all for footage and stuff. This is why this playthrough exists. Oh, it was going to give us a cutscene anyway. That's fine. Oh. Now it literally looks like a cookie. <laughs> now it does. Now it looks like it was baked. Somehow, it it like baked in the sun, which is so interesting. This is the shit that Kira for Luffy almost got defeated by. <laughs> That cracks me up. The bridge tutorial shouldn't be for a bridge that serves no real purpose. Um, kinda. It is those wafer straws. I agree. I agree. Totally a cookie. This is not clay. This is this is absolutely just cookie. This this is not clay. It's striped. Clay is not striped like this. It looks like cookie. And I'm not talking about Ned's Declassified. Okay, Walpole just flies up onto the shore, which I find to be a little interesting. Ice pick. Oh, we actually maintained its corpse, which I find to be really interesting. See, like, I just don't know. I don't know. I know it wants me to get up there first. I'm just doing a little bit of finagling, trying to figure out exactly what things are good versus what things are bad, okay? This part doesn't bother me at all. I can cheese the bag behind me, which, uh, hold on, I'm only going to do that real quick. Oh! Dude. I really like little enemies I wish would respawn. Another large dude. Large and in charge dude. Dead as hell. This is the tutorial. Or this not the tutorial. This is the um Sorry, I'm getting a little tired in the head of myself. This is a trailer shot. Yeah, the long whistle slash double uh, whistle is kind of kind of frustrating. Uh, although now that it's let us go, finally, I do feel I, I love the exploring of this. Like I'm not familiar with these areas really at all. Like I could tell you the back of the first three Pikmin games. Like, those areas, like, I know them, I know them like crazy. Pikmin 4, I do not know the layouts. And the idea of this is for me to get familiar with the layouts. It's because I played through the whole game so quick the first time. 100% agree. I 100% agree. need yellows for that flarlick. They can't reach it. I wasn't even trying to... Okay, whatever. And 
that gets me off of him. Yep. All right. I sort of remember how to play. I sort of do. Oh, new gears av available. I see. I see. Is this enough? This doesn't have any Pikmin l or like amount. It will eventually break though, which I appreciate. So sad the bench didn't turn out to be the boss like I predicted. Yeah, but it's okay. I played Pikmin 2 like what, five or six times? On the channel, maybe. Goodness Christmas, I played through Pikmin 2 like 20 to 30, maybe? It's really hard. Like, I've played a lot of Pikmin 2. I've played even more Pikmin 1. And I've played a lot of Pikmin 3. I played a lot of mission mode in Pikmin 3, actually. I didn't play the campaign maybe as much. But I certainly played through mission mode a lot. Can I, can I jump this? I feel like I should be able to, like, just do a little... This, this feels, this feels low-key doable, but, but it's fine. Can I ride, Hello? can I jump? I can't go over this. The metal plate is raised. We can barely see the other side. Honestly, Colin, my butt. It's like a little cap. I can't run up that. That's like a little dumb, but it's fine. There are female shear grubs. I'm not worried about them. Nope, leave them alone. Leave them alone. They're not doing anything wrong. They're just following us, okay? This is a nice little shot to show the performance of Pikmin 4. Because you see how the geyser... Uh, and the the wall pole they're moving but the fiery blowhog is very clearly not moving at all even a little bit until I get close enough for it to do so as soon as I get out of range it stops do we consider that a performance issue what do we what do we think that is? Obviously, I know why it does that. It's to save memory and, like, you know, all of these things. But how... Do we like that better than the alternative that Pokemon does? Where they just go away. Better than running at 20 frames per second. I think I'm okay with it. I'm personally... I'm good with it. But it's a consequence of the camera angle. Because if the camera angle was like normal, let's say this is Pikmin 2's camera angle, right? You would never really be able to load him in. Well, maybe like a little bit. <laughs> is dare you say elegant? You'd rather they freeze than fade in and out of existence, or the game just runs bad. Mess with the immersion, but better than pop in. Totally. I think I, I think I agree with all of that. I have done absolutely nothing with the day, and that is totally fine by me. We're here to discuss Pikmin. We're here to discuss Pikmin 4. This is a real game that exists that we've played. Think about that, guys. We waited 11 years. 11 years. Okay, you know what I will actually say about the, the goddamn uh, Sun Speckled Terrace? Loki, it's a little confusing. The verticality, like, like I'm going to like forget all this nonsense. I don't care about the scientists. Like, the floor looks right there. We have to go here because this is where the potted plant was. We can get up there for, I believe that's the baseball. The electric fence. Do we have to go in this cave to get wild yellows first? Am I not going to get the clock? I don't think I... Wait, can I get the clock? Do I have to run into the wall to get the clock? When I'm writing a review, how do I comment on a flaw that didn't bother me when I'm playing, but I still noticed? 
by not defining it as a flaw and defining it as smart development, probably. So bullish on Dandori, yet there's no reason to hurry. Best played by dawdling. Like, I sort of agree a little bit. I'm just looking at chat very briefly, you know. Just just getting caught up and, and whatnot. We're gonna go get the baseball real quick. Let's just go get the baseball real quick. It's just a quirk. I wouldn't call it a flaw because I understand it. And to say this game doesn't look beautiful, I think is wrong. I think this is just objectively good looking. Like all of this work. I think it's just good looking, you know? Uh, our dude's still just chilling. He's still alive. The bench still exists. Do we think... Is this baseball gonna be able to get past him? I don't even know what direction they're gonna go. It's totally fine. It is just A-OK. -okay. So if I... Okay, okay. Actually, out of curiosity... So obviously the blue onion is right up there. If I go back in the last frost cavern and I freeze this lake, theoretically I can get to the blue onion. I don't have swim yet. Yeah, but if I freeze the lake, if I get 30 uh, ice Pikmin, correct? I need a little floor lake in this area, but yes. Oh, but can I carry it back? Ochi strength at 20. Why? Okay, but why do I need it at 20? Isn't a Flarlic... A Flarlic isn't 20 carry weight, is it? Or... Oh, no, because it's an onion. It's not a Flarlic. I'm dumb. Right, right, right. Duh, duh, duh. The first onion is three. That's why... That's where I'm faltering here. Onions 30, onions 20. Oh boy, we got conflicting answers. I imagine this is where we get the uh, wild yellows. But we'll do we'll do this first. Just a little dawdle. Oh, whoa! Throw the fuck away. You know, auto lock really makes it so that sheer grubs just aren't a problem at all. Yeah, go for it, Oach. Why not? <laughs> Whatever. Have collect the enemy corpses. No. I don't want to. Not yet. We're taking our time. I'm taking in the Sun Speckled Terrace. Because you know what? Honestly, I really didn't take anything in the first time. I was just so excited to play the game. I just kind of played the game. This is the second time I'm playing through Pikmin 4. A game that is hyper important to me. And my brand. And my life. And my emotions. Thirty Pikmin in the lake, capped at forty Pikmin without returning. Yes. So like okay, okay. What's what's good with these fucks? They're not doing anything because everybody else already has the clay pieces, is what I'm getting at. So they're just waiting, simply. Instead of going back to the onion, they're waiting at the bridge for it to be done. Which I get and understand. You know what I don't like, but also understand? Is the fact that you can't just run across this bridge. And you can't, you can't just say, oh, the bridge is half completed, let's send it. Let's go for it. I get it. Do I like it? I'm not sure. I think I do. I think I get it. But... The... I feel like there's something over here, but maybe I'm mistaken. There is hidden treasure, also. I'm pretty sure that I can use Oshi's sense of smell to do that. 
look up. I can't look up. I, s I know the dragon fruit is there. I know all about the dragon fruit. Item to the right of the bridge. Okay, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. That's why I mentioned the, the, the buried item thing. Um, okay. This is exactly what I thought. Can I go in the Aquiferous Summit? A hole that should lead out to the top of the mountain, but the inside was way more convoluted than expected. Now, um, only now do I see a light at the end of the tunnel. If I ever make it out of this place, you'll deserve a good rest. Wild Pikmin, question mark, question mark. Um, we have some Ice Pikmin with us. I guess I'm good. I guess let's do it. Why not? Whatever. We're already here. Obviously, there's another cave we can do. I'm going to have to start uh, making notes. See, now we can just stay in here basically forever while I can chill out. I wanted to make sure I got into a cave with the rest of the day while I uh, while I typed in some, some notes and things that I wanted to mention. Reds and ice, not 100%. Actually, just actually not just voids, but actually lead me to higher ground on maps. Yes. This is better when I unrolled bridges and there were big roll of sticks blocking me uh, until they were done. It made more sense that way. But the materials also being currency, I think, is also pretty smart. Because it it lumps in exploration with upgrades. It's like, hey, would you rather explore more of an area or would you rather have Ochi be resistant to fire? And I think giving a player choice like that, not saying you need to grind materials and grind currency, but I think that choice is a good thing to present to the players. So I like the idea of the materials doing that. Is there a way they could have done the bridges that was maybe a little bit more intuitive as far as not, uh, you know, being able to just jump off the end of them to the other side of something? Uh, what Ochi upgrade did I do? I didn't do any of them. I haven't, I haven't used any of the pup drive yet. Uh, but I, I do think I, I think I like the material system. I think I do, just in general. I'm, I'm almost positive that I, I like it overall. Uh, Ice Pikmin, we know that. Good thing I have some with me. What did I say this was? I was going to type in Aquiferous Summit. That's what, I, that's what I meant to do. What's the most iconic part of this sublevel? It looks really basic. Like, like high key, very, very, very basic. I wish the camera was slightly better there. What's, what's good in this? Uh, the little water gap? Yeah, I guess so. Looks kind of nice, I guess. Teaching freezing mechanics. Now the caves are too short. I wish talking to the side quest people who give you for materials weren't so tedious to go through. That I could probably agree with. Uh, obviously, I don't want to take them out of the water quite yet. I'd rather just... Why did I use my ice picking to do that? Good fucking question. <laughs> Good question. Ice is about to melt. What? Oh, right. I whistled another one on accident. Uh-oh. Oh, uh, Ochi can't swim yet. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. You're... The double whistle? This is Cap. 
Okay, well. Let's just call that three cutscenes in a row. Knowing how to play the game and being hit with three cutscenes in a row to try to save my Pikmin is just... It's just a little whack, guys. You know, like, I... Like, I get the triggers. You know what I mean? Like, I understand, like, oh, the Pikmin's drowning. You need to show, like, hey, save your Pikmin. But then the Pikmin are drowning because of the water being unfrozen. Which is, like, I don't know. I don't know. There's a lot of cutscenes. Cutscenes, is they've always been an issue with the Pikmin franchise just as a whole. All of those in isolation are okay. I totally agree. No, no, no. I, I totally agree. I, I... That is a moment that'll only happen to somebody who perhaps understands it. You know? We're not going to be playing um, for that much longer. I do need to go eat. I got to get some food. Uh, I'll probably be doing this pretty much most of the day tomorrow. What's tomorrow? Monday? Yeah, probably. I don't feel like editing Mystery Dungeon anymore. <laughs> the new world record for most cutscenes in the game at once. Maybe. Maybe, maybe. But, like, I accidentally... See, and this is why I don't like the double whistle is because the double whistle prevented me from getting the ice Pikmin off of the jelly to to get back onto this thing, to, to refreeze the lake. But it did, like the whistle did have me pull one of these ice Pikmin out of the lake, almost no problem. So it's just inconsistent timing of the whistle that's just like a little bit frustrating, you know? See, it's not really a skill issue because no Pikmin died, if that makes any sense. It's like, okay, so it's saying, oh, now I can travel right across the top, which I get. But also, we know that. It's, it's a matter of show, don't tell. The Pikmin being stuck in this ice and being able to walk across is showing us that's the case. If we tried to whistle them, which we're going to, and we're gonna we're gonna refreeze it in order to get over there because OG can't swim and you know yada yada. It, there's already a text that says ice is about to melt. Maybe it's because I'm a writer. Maybe show don't tell is very important to me. It's clearly not so important to the devs. Fantastic. What did we get? Did we get nothing from that? Oh, no. We got more ice Pikmin. A living person could infer the cause and effect. The age of my target audience... That's another kind of good point. But, like, ice freezes. That's not exactly groundbreaking stuff. But, like, you could... The idea of the game is to, you know, you infer the things that you can do. You already know that you can whistle Pikmin. You already know from looking that the ice Pikmin can freeze the body of water. And in fact, in the overworld, you know they can do that anyway. If you've even paid attention or had an ice Pikmin or tried to throw them in the water, they tell you they can float, yada, yada, yada. You know. But what I'm saying is, is like... Do you really need a cutscene to show that? It it takes you out of the game a little bit. It 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 respects the player less. It's not a big deal, but it is something that I notice. It's not a big deal. It's not a big deal. All things considered, 
it ain't no thing. But like little things like that add up. Sometimes even little kids should be able to learn something by experiencing it rather than just reading about it. And I 100% am behind that sentiment. There are no enemies on this sublevel. Let's just throw that out there, right? There's nothing that's dangerous, okay? The only thing on the sublevel are a bunch of hydro jellies and one treasure in there. A kid could hypothetically whistle the ice Pikmin because they know what ice Pikmin are right here. And then they could see, oh, the ice unthaws. That's great. Oh, there's more water right here. You know, I, and obviously it's frozen right now because of, because of these dudes. But let's say we get the ice Pikmin out of there, right? Ice is about to melt. Yada, 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 yada. This is already water. They would see, oh, zero out of ten. This is part of the game. And they would know and be, not only would they be limited in the amount of ice Pikmin they'd be able to throw because of the, uh, like, auto throw the exact number of Pikmin needed mechanic, but, like, it's already explained to you in this part. So the cutscene is like, it's almost entirely pointless and it takes the autonomy out of it, which is something I dislike. And it's not a big deal, but it certainly is worth chatting about. I'm going for it. <laughs> I did it. Let's go. Oh, they'll come with me, right? Yeah, they'll come with me. Like, it's not a big deal. All things considered, it's not egregious. You know, I'm not complaining about something that's like Pokemon Sword and Shield levels of dumb and stupid. But it is like a tiny little thing that just shows respect for the player. The solution is just the ability to turn it off. Yeah. No, I totally... Like, toggles... Absolutely should be a thing. Absolutely. Uh, we got a screenshot on that last sublevel. What is the most iconic part of this sublevel? These things? Ooh, wait a minute. Hold up. This is absolutely... Uh, it's, it's with the hydro jelly and these things in the mix, I think. If I can get a little more blue on that, there we go. I don't want the cursor on that, though. Auto lock is really ruining the shot for me. <laughs> High key, auto lock would be terrible in the selfie challenge. Get off of the damn hydro jelly. I know about it. That's fine. That'll work. She can't get past this fence. Thank you for just having a little pop-up and, and letting me figure it out on my own. Instead of stopping me and going dun 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 Ochi can't get past this fence. Try getting off Ochi by hitting the Y button. Like, how come it happens sometimes, but not all of the time? You know? sublevel a lot. I like the, the hot and cold. I like the the fire geysers particular uh, in, in Pikmin 4 look really nice. These little like, these things. I like them. Doesn't that exact same thing happen when two captains are split on that one sublevel? Where? Not sure I know exactly what you're talking about. What was in that? Ice Pikmin? I don't even know. Ouch, there. They got obviously more Ice Pikmin. Oh, we got 55. Clearly there were some wilds. Puzzle piece. Some 
Sparklium, which is simply gold. I love gold. Reds can help with the jellies once frozen. No, I know, I know. I've been using both types of Pikmin for the jelly. And that lowers the iron fence, which is nice. This isn't the one lone iron bar tutorial. What's up, Drew Itala? How we doing? Ochi switch tutorial, but that part is so pointless because you can make him jump down to meet up with the captain immediately. No, we haven't done that tutorial yet. No, we haven't done that one. This is only my second time playing through uh, Pikmin 4, so I was not entirely sure which one you were talking about, but now I think I get it. And we'll, we'll vibe. We'll just, we'll let them, we'll let them do this. This is cute. This is exactly what we wanted in Pikmin 4. Also, I remember this particular section being able to use currency to build uh, things in caves, actually altering the hazard, altering the terrain. This is kind of, kind of phenomenal. You know, it is really good. I've been complaining a little bit, but this part is great. This is another reason I like raw materials a lot. Um, being able to use them to alter your surroundings and caves and progress and like this is it's good it's just good gold nugget opinion <laughs> very little toggles metro prime remastered is a ton of customizable settings so it kind of highlights the problem more to you yeah it it's the same thing with like um like pokemon kind of like, old games wouldn't hold your hand as much. New games are like, yeah, you can't skip them. Like, at all. You just can't skip them. Period. Sorry. Schmack. Oh, a castaway. And these are collected in order. Right? Can I jump up here, or do I have to? It looks like you kind of should be able to, but I can't. Anyway, I'm not here to complain about Pokemon. I'm just comparing how tutorials work in both games, and how both of them are pretty hand-holdy. Um, Schnoz. From Sigure. Right, right, right. Appraisal AI. Very funny. No rescue officer. Who is this? We know this. Random castaways on the planet. It's a little weird that there's a bunch of random castaways. I think I get it. I think they could have gone the Pokemon route and made the skip cutscenes toggle do nothing. Low key, I agree. I mean, I absolutely do not agree. Because, of course, that's sarcasm. <laughs> and, of course, I was also upset when Scarlet and Violet, I was quote-unquote skipping the cutscenes and I was still mashing A through all of the bullshit. It was absolutely insane. There was like three cutscenes in the game. This is the whole cave, right? We've done it. Woo! I'm reading you guys. I'm sorry. I'm reading chat. Pub drive. Flynn Beetle's Pikmin 3 design the best? Eh, I don't like it at all. It feels ugly. It feels slow. Investigation complete. Fantastic. No Pikmin's died yet. I'll give it that. The lack of enemies in this cave makes it feel really empty. 
I totally agree. It was kind of weird. But also, it's like, it's kind of a puzzly cave. So, like, I get it. But it is important for me to make a note that it doesn't have any enemies. So, I'm going to do that right now. What's the problem? Uh, Pikmin won't follow me onto the surface. That's... How many... And what types of Pikmin I have out on the surface at one time? Uh, don't worry about the rest when I can choose which Pikmin to take. We know this. Yep. Any remaining Pikmin will go back to the SS Beagle. We do know this too. And it's going to tell me how many do I want. 15 and 15. I would rather have 10 and 20. Why not? Oh, this is the base right here. So let's just do that real quick. Phenomenal. We'll do this and then uh, end the day. And then, in fact, I'm probably going to call this stream uh, only because I I sort of expected to go live. I didn't know exactly when I was going to start this. I knew it was something that I wanted to do prior to um, Super Dute and prior to a couple of other little mini things. I kind of want to do a Minecraft Hardcore playthrough just like a tiny one you know just for fun um but i definitely wanted to get the pikmin 4 kind of interview or interview the um gameplay footage kind of out of the way this is only the first you know three days it's obviously not a bulk of the game we will be playing a bulk of the game uh most likely tomorrow i'll probably be live uh keep an eye on twitter and all of that sort of stuff as well as here uh, on the YouTubes. I probably won't even post about it, but I'll probably just be live. Uh, most likely for the entire day. Um, this has been great. I've really kind of enjoyed dissecting a lot of these decisions that developers have made. Um, you know, just... It's, it's been nice. You know, having somebody else's opinion when it comes to dissecting a game and being able to kind of discuss it with the community just as at a whole, just at large, is really important to me. Uh, and, and being able to kind of discuss and work through my thoughts is definitely going to lend to a uh, better analysis. Uh, I literally complained about underground exclusive enemies and you explained why. Wait, what? underground exclusive what i don't think i did but anyway that's gonna be all from me uh we're gonna be back with pikmin 4 again uh probably tomorrow but you know we'll see i gotta get something to eat it is definitely definitely uh time for me to eat dinner because i have not eaten yet and uh it's totally time so thank you all so much for watching if you haven't left a like yet please do so all the support goes a very long way to let me know that this is something that you know people want to see and participate in it's a little slower than a regular playthrough it's a little weirder because there's no webcam there's no chat i get it you know it's a little bit of a different vibe but hopefully you stick with me uh because the end result i promise will be uh indeed worth it so that's gonna be all for me thank you all so much for watching till next time